All right, we're back. We never left. Back to the YouTube voice temporarily. Time to get some of those uh, keywords in. We're back with another RimWorld. 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 This game is RimWorld's playthrough of biotech. We're doing a gene high genetic dwarf RimWorld biotech run. It's a RimWorld biotech run on the hardest difficulty. Hardest difficulty. Losing is fun. RimWorld biotech let's play. No, <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> let's play RimWorld biotech. Biotech. Let's let's play. Biotech, biotech, biotech. It's like Beetlejuice. All right. Infestation uh, actually handled very easily with these friggin' genes. Holy crap. That was uh, pretty smooth, actually. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Did I say RimWorld? I believe I did. I believe I did. So we just finished our first infestation, and um, it went surprisingly easy. Our modest fellowship I mean, melee block with shotguns against yourself. insects is one of the easiest ways to take care of them. Uh, even in the late game, even with like tons of insects, but it was actually even easier than I thought because of the robust, robust. What happened to the other run? We finished that run. Uh, Archer, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Alex, thank you for the Twitch Prime also. Thank you for using those here. Calcium is a tier one sub. Probably know this. What size do you make them? It depends. On this playthrough, we're tunneler, so space doesn't matter. So I'm going to make them about this size. We'll be able to get them to decent, which is good enough for me to start with. And we might go from there. I'm your best friend. Thank you. So much. YouTube pages only fill with my content. Nice. Excellent. As it should be, best. As it should be. Uh, Rhino, let's go ahead and bring this up. Uh, I have all the DLCs. Yeah, we're using all the DLCs. So we have ideology as well. Have a robust on them. I do, yeah. Robust. And our starting ones are also tough. So tough, robust is actually godly melee blockers. Holy crap. I didn't even realize just how strong it would be. But boy, is it. How many years do you think I'll make it? Uh, I plan to live probably into my 90s. Yeah, I'm hoping. You know, I, I live pretty healthily in general. I, I do sit a lot, though, so I gotta get... No, uh, I have no idea. As long as we can go. As long as we can go. If we lose, we lose. If we win, excellent, you know. I have the first tier of fast healing. Yeah, the first tier. Not the second one. Man, yeah, we don't even have all the, like, best healing and stuff, yeah. So anyway, to prevent infestation, either don't build under or near overhead mountain, reduce overhead mountain tile temperature to negative 17 Celsius or lower, or just literally disable them if you don't want to deal with them. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Always a positive. <laughs> That's right. I try. I try. Welcome in. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some of these hauled out. I'm just going to do it like this. So we're just going to drop it in here. I know it's not like out, out, but it counts as being ugly because this is a room. So we're just going to get it out of the barracks area. There we go. There we go. Nimble, tough, robust. Oh, man. Tough, nimble, robust. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, three. That's right. We're cheating. We're cheating as a single player game. That's what I usually do when I randomize as well. When I did the full random runs, I always hit random once on a colonist instead of taking the first one, even though technically the first one is random as well. All right, let's butcher those up and then we'll bring the butchering table up there. How do you deal with transhumanist age reversal? I have an entire transhumanist run up. And in fact, we're, from when that actually took longer to deal with. And so if you want to go check out my Transhumanist run, it is up on YouTube. It's it's actually my most popular RimWorld series at the moment, um, or was the Transhumanist run. But basically what I did is I just made a couple of bio sculptors and I cycled people in. So I would make a couple and I would do this cycle for them. And then when they got out, I would literally just rebuild them and put someone else instead of having like 10 at once. Uh, it's also important to note that like sterile rooms actually make the bio sculptor faster. So if you're doing, or at least it did back when I, I did my run, if it's changed, I, I haven't heard of it, but anyway, um, so having it in a clean room, like, uh, even just a steel tile room for the 0.2 extra cleanliness or a sterile tile room for the 0.6 cleanliness, either of those, uh, will, will help quite a bit too. All right, get that brought up and we will build another little passive cooler here. And a couple new kegs. 
There we go. Perfect. For now, we'll just use the stockpile in here. And we'll copy this one. We're almost fully moved in. Bedrooms are a lot more revival since they don't increase wealth difficulty by much. Yeah, it's and bedrooms have their bonuses. I mean, I think barracks overall are stronger, but it's not just because of the wealth and stuff. It's literally the footprint. Because also, uh, and I think most people that play this game starting out, and I was the same way, I think most people, especially if you don't have a DLC, end up getting a colonist of like... 8 to 12 colonists. Like 8 to 12 for the full game. I hardly ever go... Like, very much beyond that, right? 8 to 12 bedrooms. Yeah, it's a lot of space. But it's not that much space compared to, like, my playthroughs where I usually get 30, 35 colonists. Sometimes 40 or 50 colonists. Like, having that many bedrooms takes up so much room. It's not even, like, yeah, the wealth sucks as well. But the, the big part of it is just how much space it takes up. And therefore, it increases travel time, increases work distance. It does... It does a lot of a lot of crap so but anyway bedrooms do have their uh their positives of course but they also have their negative why dig so deep into the mountain because this entire area is going to become a series of different types of defensive structures basically how do you handle freezer in the mountain if i use them so when i do freezer in the mountain i usually have uh either one of two things Either I will use Thin Rock Roof as a chimney, or I'll have an opening the heat. Uh, I'll, I'll have them go towards like the tunnel opening so that we can exhaust it out, the heat out that way. And I'll do that with um, reactors as well. Like even here, like this is deep ocean water, so enemies cannot walk through here. So I can just open this and vent all of our heat out that way. Um, We're doing a custom one. Yeah. There you go. There's the dwarf one. Feel free to pause it or whatever if you want, or clip it or something if you want to see it again. But that's it so far. Frack, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you, Frack. Very much appreciated. Almost one ca full calendar year. All right. Uh, so what is the romance looking like here? Probably start making some uh, double beds soon too. Oops. Down to 17. Prepare carefully gets updated. Someone told me that they're not going to be working on it anymore, but I'm sure someone else will take take over, but yeah, I have no idea. All right. Things moved in. You like the smaller runs? Yeah, the thing about RimWorld, man, there was this thing that I got linked to recently where people were just going off on people for playing how they want. My big thing with RimWorld always is just do whatever's fun for you. If you see me playing a certain way, it's literally because I think it's going to be fun for me. I play this game so friggin' much because it's my, my job. I mean, I like it too, but I'm going to be playing thousands more hours of this. So everything I do, it's because I think it's going to be fun at that time for me. I don't think everyone should play that way or whatever. Man, oh man, I got linked to this thread where people were like angry that people play differently than them. It's like, you know, chill out, play however you want. I don't care. Turn everything off, turn on peaceful, make a awesome, very aesthetic, beautiful little village. You know, a generational village with no raids ever. I don't know. Or do this or anything in between. I don't, I don't care. Yeah. Just as long as you're having fun. So we overproduced uh, mushrooms, <laughs> which is all right. I uh, thought we were going to have someone to go out and trade, but... All right, so this is decent. We're going to get it up to impressive. Gatekeeping, yeah, it's really crazy. Just to make guests happy with hospitality. Yeah, and that's fine. Yeah. Stream from the Darkest Dungeon, Deathless Bloodwind streams. <laughs> those are old streams now. Maddie, thank you for watching those. Yeah, appreciate it. Those are old now. I'm glad some people are still enjoying them. Enjoying them. All right. So we're going to do just a very basic shotgun tunnel to start here and go from there. They removed, remove heat diff element. Really? That seems weird. Creating smaller areas for separate groups of colonists to work within. 
Yeah, I used to do that a long time ago, and now I just can't be bothered. Doors don't use shotguns? They absolutely do. Are you someone that thinks that the only doors that exist in fantasy are from Tolkien? <laughs> These are Warhammer doors. We are going to use explosives and guns. Run every time. Enjoy doing... Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with that, Purple Star. Yeah. If you enjoy playing the same... Same... Over and over. We are Warhammer dwarves, and maybe we'll eventually get to 40k dwarves. Yeah. All right. What? There we go. That's a grudge. And, yeah, we were talking about that in the beginning. So uh, going in my ideology, those of you from Warhammer, you see that the two ancestor gods I have are Grungni and Valea. And I didn't put the third one because it just rolled as two, so I named them. And we were talking about it at the beginning of the stream. It's like, Grimnir is not going to be happy. I understand why you did it, but you're going in the book. Dawi, your tribal start it was, yeah. Tribal start. Greatly appreciated. Flame their only run. Dwarves and natural sprinters. Uh, purple thing for the three months. Thank you, purple. All right, let's get that beer flowing. Okay. Does the large map sizes cause any performance or pathing issues? It does. Uh, hit performance pretty hard. As far as pathing goes, it's not exactly pathing. It's that if someone is is set for a job that is not interruptible and they're going far away on the map, they will ignore their needs to go there. So it can cause problems in that way as far as just pathing goes. Or, but I use zone zoning rules, so it doesn't really matter for me. Solar filling that also doesn't matter for me. All right, uh, let's go ahead and work on getting a small shotgun tunnel. I'd love to get a second or third second shotgun at some point. Uh, probably a second to start with. Welcome back. We'll just set Your one here. Loyalty is we can edit it uh, heavily later. So I think I'm going to shoot down at it. So we'll have just a little area like this. We'll go out there. A little bit further over. A little bit further over. All right, I'm gonna stop sewing in there now that we're way good. I mean, the Dawi, yes. That's what I said that we're gonna be start as Warhammer Dwarfs and maybe end up as 40k Dwarfs, but proper tavern, brewery, mead hall. That'd be kind of cool, yeah. Let's go and kill around. Heavy meta. Thank you for the seven months. Thank you, heavy meta. Seven months. It's getting serious between you and I. What run number is this? First of the dwarves, second of biotech. Yeah, I don't want that to burn, yeah. That'd be pretty rough. Seed? Uh, I think I updated Expedition Seed. You can, you can check if you want. I think I did. Our modest fellowship uh, expands. Praise the Thank sun. You. Thank you, Bale. Also very much appreciated. Soundtrack's so good. Yeah, especially with P music. P music just takes to another level. All right. Let's get some double beds going here. We gotta get some baby doors. Start rocking some baby doors. Okay, uh, so we're gonna have them come around. We need one, two, two spaces. Then we're gonna cut over. Cut over. Oh, okay. It's a very, very basic uh, shotgun tunnel to start with. A generous bestow. There we go. Very basic. Get those moved. Uh, bin. Bin dust. Thank you for the 100 bits also. 
Double, double beds force babies? No, but they allow for babies. Massive research penalty? Yes, yeah. We have tribal research, so. Yep. Research is going to be pretty slow. Okay, so we want to smooth that. No research run when I don't know. I think it would be kind of boring, but um, the increase starts at 400%. Yeah, our doors also have the gene to make them mate more. So, no crafting run. Yeah, that one's interesting. Yeah, it's going tickle. Welcome in tickle ducks. Get some people mispronouncing that name occasionally. Dwarf babies have beards? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. We will find out. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try something. So we're going to set claw and... Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Sloth? Uh, who is that? Crookie. Crookie, the, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here, Crookie. Counts same as tier one sub for me and you. You know I get ads and I get some money from Sir Jeffrey Bezos. He's not us, sir. Got any plants in that room, in this room? No, not yet. I probably won't. All right. I don't know. Yeah, let's check it if it's a different way that way. Uh, no. <laughs> Too low, it says. Too low. Too low. Had to force your colonists to wear cataphract armor. If you clear the force, they keep it on. They generally try to wear whatever the best defensive option they have on hand is. Uh, if you don't set them to a rule. So do you have a rule set? Make sure your, your clothing rule allows them to be able to wear whatever's going on with your cataphract. Both quality, uh, HP level, just cataphract in general, etc. Why do I have so many mushrooms? Uh, it's one of it's gonna be one of the things that we we trade, but I'm used to having more colonists at this stage. Also, we're gonna eat a lot more on this one. Uh, we have genes that are gonna make us eat a lot more, so almost everyone's like a gourmand. But also, we're gonna use the excess right now to just go out and trade. Um, Abasia, we got a Abasia pawn. Hmm, a high mates. How would that work? If we have a high mate dwarf baby. Hmm. It's like a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> uh, let's find out. Let's find out. All right. All right. Uh, Soul Sapper, go ahead and go rescue them. High mates are pretty rare, yeah. They're mainly from slavers. So having one just fall out of the sky is kind of interesting. I think it is, yeah. I don't think they're going to. They just count as normal human, human for mating. Okay. Wait, they're sterile? I didn't remember looking at that. I don't see anything sterile in there. None of the factions have them. She's yeah, they're 42 anyway, so fertility is gonna be not be great. But anyway, we'll uh we'll leave them there for now. Uh, yeah, it didn't look like it. Your hide mates have had children. Okay, we're 
we're gonna go and rip that up. Oh, hey, 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 hey. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> And it will eventually use Kim Fuel, the mushrooms, too, so. I love curing a high mate, turn them into a killing machine. <laughs> Smoothing floors. I haven't smoothed any floors yet, but I do smooth floors and mountain bases every time. Every time. It hasn't been that long since we did a mountain base run, actually. We did a lot of them in Winston Waves. All right, um, we really need that electricity research. It's going to take quite a while, so we'll probably just kind of chill a little bit. We have this set up. I need to get some columns there. Um, so let's go ahead and put down a stone cutter table. And I'll just throw it. I guess I'll just throw it in here for now. It has to be a couple first. You can click on the hearts and then set it to whatever you desire. Yeah, I was hoping that um, ideology free and approved uh, physical loving precept would would make it easier, but apparently it hasn't. They really don't like overlapping and having the DLC stuff interact, and yeah, you can really see it there. Really see it. What we got? We got limestone up here. Okay. Uh, make limestone blocks. Do until you have X, and we'll just do a little bit, like a hundred. Drop it on the floor. Delete that for now. Okay. Last issue that one pump handles three. It's one pump for two, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it, if you go on our Discord, someone did all the math for it, and they have exactly how many pumps and um, the toxic pumps and, and atomizers and all that can actually go together, and how much it produces uh, is in the Discord. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. The, I think it's one per two though. Shaman merchant. Nice. One pawn for every two. Yeah, there's goat. Yeah, I really wish they made the DLCs interact more. I, I don't know. So one of the most annoying parts about that I found so far about them not interacting is natural meditation. So now if you start as tribal and you're doing biotech, you have your five tribals that have natural meditation, but none of their children or any of that will ever. None. No children. So you can have two tribal people that both have natural backgrounds and therefore can produce anima grass. If they have children, their children will never be able to use anima grass. Kind of sucks. I doubt they're going to fix it. I really hope they do. I hope I'm wrong about it. But judging on how they usually treat stuff like that, um, they probably won't. So. Mad rats. Mad rats. Okay, don't think we have to worry about the mad rats. Okay. It was an oversight. I don't think so because they've done that with the other DLCs. The other DLC parts don't interact either. So maybe we can hope, but yeah, at the very least, obviously there will be mods to, fit, to change it. So there'll be mods either way. Mushroom, make them grow faster. They, it does not. They literally can't grow without it under the mountain. So fungal gravel has is the same fertility as just gravel soil. And fungal, or uh, Nutrifungus in general, has very low. So if you look at Nutrifungus, it only has a 30% fertility, uh, or 15% fertility sensitivity. So it grows about the same speed no matter what you put it in. Even in hydroponics, it doesn't really grow very much faster. As a logistic, yeah, yeah, I understand why they want to keep them separate too, and not just a logistic thing, but also as a, you, I'm, I'm sure they don't want people to feel like they have to have all the DLCs to be able to, like you have to have them all to fully enjoy an individual DLC, you know. No pregnancies yet. That's what I'm hoping soon though. But. Turn that off as a gathering spot. Stop coming out there. Move these up. 
destroy this. Should we do? I, mean, I, I don't know if they'll change it. I hope so, but we'll see. We'll see. Unlike Total War. We will see. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably already a mod for it, honestly. All right, so we got a melee block set up, a very basic one. We want to go ahead and put a door over here and a door here. And we'll do doors there later. But that should be good for just a basic setup. Sandra will be attacking us again here pretty soon. Looks like it's been about six days. All right, what's the quality in here? Slightly impressive. Okay, that's good enough for now. Good enough. We'll let them uh, get the research done. So let's go ahead and spin that. Yeah. All right, so keep an eye on this. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and start thinking about how we're going to do the exhaust over here. I might just want to see if this opens or how how it goes or how it's set up in here so uh we, we'll do that let's just go ahead and make a door through here and we'll just do this and we'll go from there see how that is also let's go ahead and change the zones so we're gonna go ahead and clear the inside from down here I don't want to accidentally put them down there span inside to be inside the actual mountain here. Okay. Uh, and then clear walls. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. There we go. That should be fine for now. And for the work zone, uh, yeah, we don't want to go that far out anymore. Pretty long distance for our little dwarven legs. We are we are slow. I I already got an infestation. When can you expect them? You can get them in almost immediately. Yeah, it actually doesn't take a lot of raid points or wealth to cause an infestation. So they become active very, very quickly. But starting out, they're usually either only one or two hives. So they're not too bad. But you can get them almost right away. Yep. ZB, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, ZB. Does the Empire have a lot of Hussars as their soldiers now? So the Empire thing just pulls from World Pawn, so that I don't think that has anything to do with them directly being coded to interact. But raids like that just grab World Pawns anyway, so you're gonna end up seeing Hussars in any kind of occasionally in any kind of like Outlander pirate type raid. But it doesn't it's not like programmed to interact that way, you know? The same thing, like, uh, hmm. Think, think of things like that. If you look at it and you think, like, well, psychically sensitive is a base game, but that interacts or whatever. Like, it, it's not like, I don't know. I'm trying to put it into words, but there's no, like, directly coded, like, interaction between especially ideology and other things. Like, I really wish there was something in ideology that impacted, um, or excuse me, in, in biotech that interacted with natural meditation. I wish there was something in ideology that interacted with it, like Mechanitor. You know, there's lots of things like that that I doubt they'll do, but of course there is mo there'll be mods, so. Hi mate, we'll have 100% romance chance and not pass on its genes. Easy Dwarven Army. Yeah, that's what we have right yeah. Coding Nightmare. Uh, sure. I see it. Where is it for the Empire? Yeah, so Baseliner 70, Hussar 15, Genie 10. Yeah, they're all five, so. <laughs> they fixed the melee sonar trick. Nope, I already I used it in this one. It's going Obsidian, welcome in. What do you think is the most difficult biome other than ice and extreme desert? Cold bog? <laughs> Cold bog, probably. Cold Swamp, Cold Bog are probably 
honestly, I'd rather do a desert than a cold bog. <laughs> it's it's pretty gross. The melee trick? Uh, yeah, I think Exclamation Mountain is a... Do Exclamation Mountain. I believe that'll show you a clip of how I how I check the mountain with a melee weapon to see if it has openings or not. There's already a mod that changed travel to children. Yeah, I, I, I didn't doubt that we made pretty much immediately, but I do wish it was in the game. Elsewise, you know. Well, I never called it Sonar, yeah, but but I knew what they were talking about. Hot diggity Dane, welcome in. Thank you for being here. One of the hardest biomes. Yeah, yeah, and so Cold Bog is basically yeah, like a swamp map, but it's cold, so you don't get the benefit of like year-long growing, but you get the god-awfulness of the cold. Or uh, the god-awfulness of the uh, trying to build in a friggin' bog. Verbiage to look for in the Desperate Travelers missions. So, no, they changed it. I think I'm going to accept this. So they changed it. You used to be able to get to tell if they would betray or not, even from, from this screen. But they, they fixed that in 1.3-ish or something. I think I'm going to take this. We have the extra food. They're not going to like mushrooms, but we can use this to get our research done. So uh, let's go ahead and accept them. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to have them drop their their weapons here so another good thing to have extra food for when you have low population in case you get hit with these uh all right put them in the work let's go and take a look here firefighting patienting bed rest all right child care do not take care of our children we don't have any children Okay, handling, I don't need that done. Uh, we can have that one to help with cooking while they're here. Okay. Structure. No. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Okay, research, research, research. That one can't research. Okay, so that one will help with cooking the whole time they're here. Uh, research. We're just going to copy this one and then I'll edit those ones. Okay. All right. We're going to need more research benches. Go ahead and remove the roof here. I'll keep the outdoor. I guess I could, but then they're like really far away from the food and stuff, so. But yeah, this should be fine. Looks like that opens all the way, huh? Look at that. Nice little chimney down there. <laughs> yeah, refugees, yep. How's run going? It's going all right so far. Going all right. We had our first infestation. It wasn't too, too bad. Waiting a long time. Are the bugs that spawn in the mountain still a thing? They absolutely are. Yep. We just killed some. How do you plant mushrooms inside? The tunneler get access to something called fungal gravel and you place fungal gravel and you can plant whatever you want in it. First manhunter, three rhinos, three rhinos. Okay.
Optimal range for assault rifle. I like 28 tiles in length for assault rifle kill tunnels. That's my preferred. You can go a little bit longer if you want, but that's what I like. Man, the friggin' rot stink on Scaria. Plant whatever you want or only fungal. You can plant whatever you want in fungal gravel, yeah. I don't know I don't know why no one yeah, you can plant whatever you want. I, I can literally plant whatever you want in fungal gravel. Now those things are gonna need lights if they need light. Why columns? Columns will make it so enemies don't shoot from those tiles unless they get stunned on the tiles. Same thing with um um barricades and stuff, but they each have their own plus and minus, so but yeah, you can plant whatever you want. I used to use a sun lamp in fungal gravel to grow wood in my playthrough. Um, to grow fiber corn for wood in my playthrough where I was darkness under the mountains. So. No, I could only... I, probably because it's called fungal gravel, I guess, you know? But Nope, that's a pretty big... Uh, or a pretty common misunderstanding, I should say. All right, I need uh, I need some more wood here. Let's see. Sloth. Ah, you're fine, Sloth. Go get some wood. We need these research benches done for our guests. Be our guest. Be our guest. But yeah, I used to use columns a whole lot. So columns are actually overall generally better for this as long as you aren't ripping them apart with your own people. So as you get higher attack power and whatnot, you want to replace it with higher HP stuff. Like even plasteel columns aren't enough. And so you'll end up using plasteel barricades for the interest of the kill box. In this early game, it makes sense to use it. Let's try and hold off on the biotech DLC. You couldn't resist. It's a good one. It's a good one. Fiber corn doesn't need sun lamps, but they increase growth rate the more sunlight they have. Fiber corn can actually just grow with a torch but they grow extremely slowly if you it'll actually increase past the um uh, the base growth if you put them with the sun lamp because mine were growing way too slow with a torch so i ended up using a sun lamp yeah they don't need it they can grow even i think it's 30 percent light let's check i think it's 30 percent light minimum but that's not the maximum yeah 30 percent light A fan of Dwarf Fortress. I've never played it, but I will play it on the 6th of December. When children turn 13, do they get normal body size? They do not. They still have small body. As far as drugs and everything is concerned, they still have small bodies until they are 18. All right, we are going to cook more meals while these people are here. Why you didn't just close the door to keep the rhinos out? I wanted to get some shooting experience and melee experience, and uh, I was hoping that we'd get some meat from any that didn't have or didn't insta rot from Scaria. When the main hunter attacks it bigger, I'll do that. But right now, I wanted uh, I wanted what they were offering. Let's see wood. bottom right of your entrance this one this is a old trap tunnel that we're going to stop using now children don't have to drink beer until they're 13 how are my pawns happy well they're actually not that happy but 
this barracks is a decent quality. We'll get it better though. Shortly. Get to max honor title, Empire, then renounce the title. Uh, you get to keep the side casting, yeah. You get to keep the side casting. Melee combat with a rhino will be a harrowing experience, yeah, to say the least. We're actually going to get some research done thanks to these visitors. Quest axe. Okay. It worried me for a second. Uh, it's too early to get off map problem causers anyway, so I'm not sure why it worried me, but it did. It did. All right, get some of that wood back. Okay. Victoria 3. Yeah, I've never played those. I I did play a little bit of um, uh, EU4. But, uh, Crusader Kings, of course. All right, electricity. So we want to get to biofuel refining. No white uh, references throughout the stream, throughout this playthrough. Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got benches for everyone. Benches for everyone. Major break on one of the visitors. What's your problem? Night owl in the daytime. Slept in the cold, slept on the ground. But decent barracks. All right, we'll get that up. We'll get that up. I don't want to do this now. Excuse me. We'll see part of it, and we'll go from there. Jeans. Yeah, I'll set that up. I actually had it added as command, and it didn't. It didn't end up working at the beginning of the stream. But I'll. I'll fix it. Now that fertility procedures is available. Yeah, I was thinking about that too, yeah. I didn't end up using the procedures on the last biotech run that we did, but I, I think you're right. I think we should get to that. Uh, thank you, yeah. I try to answer everything I see, and sometimes, you know, something will get asked a whole lot over and over, and I don't get annoyed by it, but sometimes it does take take away from things a little bit. So I try to get, like, clips and things of it, or I'll tell you to go, go back and watch, but I try my best, because I know people are always trickling in and out, you know? I always do this to the floor in mountain bases. Literally every one of them. <laughs> We're trying to get to uh, 120 impressiveness. Actually, we're trying to get to 80 first. Will I do artistic floor again? I Yes, I have some plans for that. One of the most funs I've had in, on the stream recently is when I did the racetrack and I, and I left it uneven on purpose and then pretended, completely pretended that stream that I didn't know what people were talking about. It's so good. People are like, man, you got crazy poker face. All right. Or what Cassandra's next hit will be. What happened to the other run? We finished it. Yeah, we finished that one. Finished that one on Sunday. It's going up on YouTube. Uh, the ending's going up on YouTube. All right. What else do we want to knock out while they're here? So per fertility procedures, huh? So we can do the IVF. I really think we should take advantage and get some things that we really, really need. 500% is a difficulty modifier. Losing is fun. The normal hardest difficulty in the game is 220%. So pumping it up to 500% means that raids get bigger and harder much faster. This person has abasia. So they have a, a paralytic disease that uh, they're going to be immobile for up to 40 days. They were a... Uh, Auto join a Beja event. Beja is from Royalty DLC. So this one can't do research. So let's have him work on hauling some of this junk then. 
Yeah, we can do that. So let's haul this stuff out of this tunnel. And for our other people, we'll just turn off hauling right now. Just while he's here. That research done. But yeah, they have paralytic abasia. It's uh, something they added with royalty. So if you don't have royalty or you don't have royalty enabled, you won't see paralytic abasia. Uh, they can actually get healed sooner. They are a high mate. So what our goal here with them is, is to um, convert them over to our faction and use them to breed baby dwarves. No, we're going to do min mostly miniguns. So this is not only miniguns. It's, it's only heavy weapons. So we're going to do... Welcome Shotguns, back. miniguns, and explosives, pretty much. Greatly appreciated. Beer dependency is a gene. Yep, it's a gene. Knocking out a bunch of research. Very nice. Uh, Yulu, you were the eight months. Witty statement here. Thank you, Yulu. Eight months already. Uh, you didn't realize you could adjust work priorities in bulk with 800 plus hours? Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I just... I just glad... Anyway, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, you can hold shift and left click to change an entire entire group up by one and right click to put it down by one. So you hold shift and you right click here or you left click and it actually tells you if you hover over it. You can click to sort the column, but you can shift click to increase or shift right click to decrease for the whole column. Sanguine Iron Wield High Mate as your leader. They were great. All right, what are we at here? Somewhat impressive, okay. All right, so yeah, while these guys are here, we're just gonna have them. Um, so another thing I, I wanna do here is I wanna have all of them equip a piece of wood. You might be saying, ah, why do you want all your visitors to have a piece of wood? Well, I'm glad you asked me. Uh, if they rebel against us, if they well, I don't want them to pick up better weapons. So if they try to beat us up with a piece of wood, more power to them. But yeah, I really hoped we'd have another mule by now, but we don't. I do need to check, though. They're transhumanist, transhumanist Neanderthals. <laughs> nice. Excellent. It's got metal. <laughs> Stanley Wilkman. Beer can be used as a weapon, but yeah, that is, uh, we need that to survive. So I thought about that at first. Yeah. Okay. So right now, yeah, we're just pumping out research while they're here. We might as well. Look at all those research benches going. Love to see it. Tribal research. Look how fast that bar is going. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Sign settings to them, not to pick up better weapons. Me want more smart. Me want more strong. <laughs> Cold snap. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. We should be okay in here. But uh, maybe we'll go ahead and just build this just in case. We are under the mountain, so it should sit about 60-ish. Uh, maybe a little bit colder with the door open and stuff, though. So. Alright, we're gonna need even more wood, so let's deconstruct uh, this. That will leave for right now. Accepted refugee quest, and there are now 76 people staying in your colony. Ugh. 30 child refugees, one adult refugee. 10 mercenaries for another quest, and 35 full time colonists. Oof. You have to be a dwarf. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Me want to live past 35. Also, we got Thrumbo. So, the cold snap lets me know, yeah, winter is here. Winter is here. We're not going to be me meleeing any Thrumbo right now, just to be clear. Individual rooms I have planned? <gasps> Shh. Yes. 94 beers. 94 bottles of beer in the mountain. 94 bottles of beer. Be careful passing that stuff around. We need it to live. A true ancient. <laughs> Can child refugees betray you? I 
I'm guessing they can. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, it sucks the hops is gone. It's time to melee the thrombo. They can the children, uh, like the three-year-olds betray you. <laughs> Man, this research is going fast with all these benches. Love benches. <laughs> they can, yeah. It's nuts. It's 38 in there. The mushrooms are going to start growing very slowly. Yeah, I have them all carrying a log. Yeah. All right. Next. Uh, what do we want them to knock out for us? Um, screw it. Let's get shotguns. You can cut the crust off my sandwich. Betrayal. <laughs> All my guests have wood. A quiet lynx. Crowbar, prime counselor of Gabaron, is looking for a safe settlement to take care of her pet lynx. Damage for 17 days. That's blood rock. Right? Uh, we don't really care about any of that right now, so, no. Fertility. Yeah, I'm going to go that route, too. Yeah, I'm just getting stuff in to survive, then we'll go baby route. Yeah, it's amazing how fast research goes with, like, nine people doing it, you know? Uh, I, it's one of the most common questions I get is, like, why do you have so many research benches? I even get it on YouTube quite a bit, and this is why. Like, this is tribal speed research. If you have doors with high libido, yeah. <laughs> Should have expected all the visitors with wood. Wait, how long are they here? We might get an ungodly amount done. They're gonna be here another seven days if they don't betray us. Well, clone infantry, not for this one, no. Will pawn seek out recreation if they need it? it? So, yeah, you can look at my scheduling guide if you want, exclamation SCH, but basically. If they're in an anything or a recreation block and they need a recreation and they're zoned to be able to go there, they'll do it if, if they have the recreation. So anything or recreation and they'll do it. Uh, more details and specifics about that is in the scheduling guide, exclamation SCH. You have them always betray in the new patch? Hope they don't. Hey. No beer. Leave our beer alone. How do I do my labor assignment? So for me, what I usually look at here, so for anyone that doesn't know, it goes left to right. And left to right one, left to right two, left to right three, left to right four, right? That's the priority. I usually look at things that are essential for survival first and, and make sure I schedule those. And then also uh, the next thing is essential for mood, right? So you'll notice cleaning is pretty high on everyone because that's going to be a big mood hit if this barracks goes down, you know? But at, at a very basic level, that's what I do. No mercy. Oh no. Oh no. He's dead. There's no one down there. He's a guest. There's no way. He doesn't have this. Yeah, he's dead. What? He's a Neanderthal, right? I can't believe that he won that. 100% thought he was dead. Wow. Way to go, guy. Way to go. He's not even a dwarf. Neanderthal. Me smash would stick. <laughs> stick all me need. Me beat danger puppy. Wow. Way to go. Way to go. Look at you. Smash. Honorary dwarf. Dwarf in spirit. For sure. Not a dwarf, but what about a friend? <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Aye, a friend. Beat that rat. Man, 
He wrecked that thing. I can't believe he killed that. I really thought he was 100% dead, but don't underestimate the Neanderthal. Blight on the hops. All right, this cut all blight button is new. Uh, you can, wait, who, it's not Soul Sapper. Who is it? Is it Sloth? Sloth. Uh, there's a, a way to set this up where you don't have to do all the right clicking. All right, I'll do it. I'll, I won't be. All right, anyway, expand allowed area, manage. I'm gonna add a new area, area one. I'm gonna expand area one over the blinded area. I'm gonna go into schedule. I'm gonna grab Sloth and put them in area one. I'm gonna put them on all work. There we go. Now, I'm gonna clear that. They're gonna come down here and they're they're just gonna go right through all that. Look at that. You can also oh, set it if you want. Expands. You can set them to only plant cutting Raise and not, you know, sowing. And they won't replant while they're doing it. But anyway, nice little trick. Put them back in area one. Give them the normal schedule again. And we'll just delete that area. Just delete that area. Uh, Shikon, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I do appreciate it. Thank you, Shikon, for the subscription. And Noob, thank you for the 11 months. It's almost one entire calendar year, Noob. Free meat, yeah. Some axe eyes for... for, uh... a roof collapses. I think it's six tiles from a support. I usually do 13 by X exterior walls because I want a middle point, a center point, so I don't want them to be even. Um, so I do 13 by X walls and that's safe. Even under the mountain, that's safe. You don't need a mod for auto cut blight anymore. It's it's just in the base game now. There's literally a cut all now. But I mean, you still have to, they still have to be able to go to the zone, but, and, and there's, there are things like Octung and stuff like that where you can just right click as well. But now you can set all, to cut all blight with just a button without, without needing a mod. I mean, get the mod, do it if you want, but. Can I show how I did that again? So basically I put a allowance zone just over the blighted area and then I scheduled the person to only be able to go to the blighted area and then I put them on all work. And since their work is to cut plants and they're in an area where the only job was uh, or there was for plant cutting, that's what they did. They just cut it all. Uh, We will tend to him. Let's give him this bed. Lay down. Need medical experience anyway. But yeah, you can you can use a mod for it, but can yeah, you can use that for other things too, like repairing things or whatever. That's right, yeah. I I recommend hitting the cut all blight button multiple times. Yep. Yeah. Let's go ahead, Wanda. Welcome back. Donkey, welcome in. I can't show it again really because I uh I don't have any more blight, but. All right. Another infection. Sucks. That sucks. So that's deep ocean right there. Interesting. Let's see what that is. So Zach, welcome in. Do you happen to know if it is known bug the animal pins that are set to auto cut bramble don't actually auto cut the bramble? I always have. Uh, so you have to have not only the bramble set, but you also have to have auto cut set. If you have both of those set, it should do it. But I have ran into the issue sometimes where I accidentally forget to set the actual auto cut, and I have it. I have what I want cut set up, but I don't have the actual auto cut. But um, if I actually have it set up, I haven't had trouble with it. But I haven't used it in 1.4, so it could be a new bug if you are experiencing one, but. No worries, one to... <laughs> It's all good. It hasn't worked for you with windmills this patch? Yeah, so it might be a new 1.4 thing that's screwing it up. I, I haven't used it this one, but. Yeah, they both set and they're not doing it. Yeah, it sounds like a 1.4 thing. Uh, I wonder if it's already reported. You can always report it in the developer Discord if you want. I don't know if it's already reported or not. Concrete and art for beauty is wealth efficient. Yeah, it's pretty wealth efficient. Yeah. Straw floor instead of concrete stacks up. I don't like straw floor. It's 150% flammable. 
So flammability, if anything happens and your and your straw floor catches on fire, it goes up so fast and superheats the room that it's it's really crazy. I don't like it, but uh yeah, it's uh personal preference, I suppose. So no, I haven't done the the flat out math on it versus concrete as far as well efficiency, but yeah, it goes up really, really fast, which is uh which is can be scary. Have you played Starbound? Only a little bit, yeah. I didn't Starbound was okay. I didn't really get into it very far to get a huge opinion on it, though. So right now, we're just kind of sitting back, waiting for Cassandra to attack again, and uh, weathering this winter and getting our research done. Yeah, I was thinking about growing some more. That's why I didn't remove it. Yeah, I haven't decided yet. I guess if I grow more, I'll probably just do an extra room anyway. Show the jeans. Sure. Feel free to pause it or do a clip or whatever. There they are. Um, if you need more time to look at them or whatever. Straw matting. It's more efficient than concrete, but fire foam popper is like a mandatory research. Yeah. If you do it that way. That's how I felt about Starbound 2. It felt like it was a worse Terraria, but it was more... It felt like they were trying to go for a more like story-based Terraria, but... Yeah, it was it was okay, but oh my god, we're already two chain shotguns with these people here. Okay. All right, let's go on, Trisha. Welcome in, Doug. Welcome in. Spore commands. Um, I. I, yeah, I, I'm planning on doing that already. Like, don't go out of your way to do it, Zed. I'm not going to set it up right now during the stream. But I will have it set up before the next uh, episode of this, or next stream of this. But, I mean, if you want to post one, like, in the Discord expands. or something like that, or if you want to paste one if you're around when someone asks or something, that's all fine. Okay. All right, cargo pods. What was it? It was cloth. Okay. And wait, what kind of traders are these? Exotic goods. Uh, okay. Green, go ahead and go trade with them. Put a stockpile zone over these, and then I'm just going to put it on. Allow nothing. Doors are pre-OP. <laughs> Actually stronger than I thought it was going to end up being, but we'll see how it goes. But we do have to eat more, yeah, and we die if we don't drink beer. So it's kind of like we're all gourmands, and we also we also move slowly. We also get we're basically um, depressives if we're out in the light. So there's there's a lot of downside to it, but the strengths are very strong, and the downsides are very bad. No one said on hauling. That is on purpose. That is by design. I literally just turned everyone off of it. All right. Um, yeah, I don't want to. I have one person on hauling, and it was very intentional. Let's go ahead. Tedimus, welcome in. Uh, redaction time. Thank you for the switch crime. Thank you, redaction. Quest. Insects. Seven hives. I don't want to deal with seven hives. That's a three-star quest, so. Our normal hive infestation right now is like two. Two or three hives. I don't want to deal with seven. Oh, one of the people that are visiting is addicted to Psyche. Okay. We got about five more days here. Something like that. We'll get as much research out of these guys as we can while they're here, and then we'll go back to what we were doing. All right, let's see if we can get fertility. I think you'd be, man. Yeah, if you want to post it in Discord, I can... People can see that, yeah. I can I can direct them that way. A duster, nice. Nice. Okay. Wrote down on the second day. Sloth. Good on beer still. 
So I am going to divide these rooms, mainly in case bugs spawn. Uh, it's not a mod. It's in the base game. So to show weapons now, you go to options. You go to interface, and sh uh, you can choose in here all these different things. Weapons below portrait. Always, while drafted, or never. That's a 1.4 edition. You no longer need a mod for it. So, options, interface, weapons below portrait. Yeah, no problem. How often do they bring, drink beer? I have them set only once per every four days right now. I could span it out to 1.5. Eventually, I'm going to have one a day. Oh, he's already immune to that, too. Nice. Bigger day keeps the doctor away. That's right. Here's not even cold. It must be torture. <laughs> New livers? Nah, we'll be fine. Our genes take care of that. Ten per day. <laughs> Is that a mod to continue mining like that? No. What part are you talking about, gummies? No, no mod. We're talking about what when I would just drug it or part of Neanderthal growl. You select orders, you click mine, and you just drag whatever you want to mine. That's whole room. Oh, that's just, that's just how the game works, yeah. That's how it's always worked. That's how it's always worked. No worries, Gummies. Gummies, I have to ask a question, though. Just out of curiosity. How many hours have you played the game? Because there's some things that I didn't learn for, like, hundreds of hours. And some people... Like, just earlier, someone was in here, and they might still be here, that was like, I have 800 hours in the game, and I never knew this that I, that I was showing them. You've only been mining one stone at a time. Just clicking one and L and then, ooh. Yeah, that's, that takes a long time, man. You can't individually select tiles with it. No! <sighs> this will change your life then. But yeah, no worries. People miss all kinds of stuff, including me. Can we show some more things like that? All right, all right. Here's, here's some of the, let's do a few of the top uh, five things I'm asked when a new player comes in and sees this, right? So one, you see the pawns up here? You can right click, hold down right click, and you can drag your pawns wherever you want. No mod needed. People ask that all the time. All right, there's one. There's one of the ones I'm asked. All right, on to number two, top five room roll tips. Uh, number two, people come in all the time. They say, Adam, how do you have the items in, in the category in the top left? What mod is that? Well, kind viewer, it's not. In the bottom right of your screen, there's something called categorize mode. It's been in there since alpha. You can literally just click it and it goes into full list or it goes into the categorize mode. So there's another one, all right? Number three, well, I can't play without allow everything. Well, you see these icons? You can actually right click on a lot of these icons to get an another function, just in the base game. You can click on allow and you can do unforbid all items. You can do allow all. You can right click on forbid and forbid all. You can right click on plans, you get the idea. Right click on a bunch of these things. A lot of things in here have right click functionality that uh, the game doesn't really tell you about. All right, number four. You can pretty much drag orders on just about everything. So instead of going through here and being like, all right, industrial medicine, industrial medicine, industrial medicine. If you select it and then you hold down left click, you can drag it and it just does it to everyone. This works with zones. It works with lots of things. It works with almost everything in the game. All right. Number five. Number five, you can rotate through pawns really quickly, quickly by hitting comma and period. Look at that. You can leave this open. You can go through there really quick. Comma and period. All right, I'll give you a bonus. A number six that I'm asked about all the time. Uh, let's see, which one? Which one? Uh, you can change all this by holding shift and left click, right click. So if you want to change everyone to bed rest, left click, right click. All right, nice. Number seven. Medical defaults. This is also not a mod. You can change medical defaults for people coming. If you're like, man, I don't understand why when hostile factions come up, I'm giving them my, my glitter well medicine. Why is it set by default? It's because you haven't changed it. It's 
because you haven't changed it. You click, you click on your pawn, you go to health, you click default, and you can change what they show up with individually. There's another one. All right. Number eight, quest rewards. You want better quest rewards? You want better quest rewards? You, you're tired of, you're tired of the empire being like, we'll give you eight reputation. Well, friggin' no. You come in here, you click on reward preference, and you turn this off so they give you the good stuff instead of reputation. Anyway, there's lots of crap like that, so don't feel bad when you miss out on that stuff. That's eight out of five. So default meals. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff like that too. Yeah, like assignments. You can you can change their default meals. In prisoners, you can change their default meals as well. Like um, the food restrictions. Prisoners have the same button. People ask me all the time too. It's like, how do I make my prisoners only eat the meals I want? Well, you click on the prisoner and you just choose what meal you want them to, <laughs> to eat. There's all kinds of stuff like that. All kinds of stuff like that. So don't feel bad. I, I've i learned this stuff over 4,000 hours of streaming it. There's so many. And I still learn new stuff all the time. Should make a video of those? <laughs> Probably should. Use that as a short. Uh, all right. If you clip it, I'll make it as short. Uh, I think... 350 hours, you learn three of those eight were new to you. All right. More than half of yours is probably idle. I have some games like that too. All right, we got the fertility knocked out there. So what else, what else do we want to grab while they're here? While they're here, we'll grab, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's get fire. Generous or let's get micro electronics. Screw it. DT, they were the bits. Thank you, DT. Tips at 500 hours when starting to watch. <laughs> eight out of five tips. Here's a top five list with eight things on it. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of little things. Lots of little things. <laughs> oh, God. When, when setting a door to hold open, make sure you open it. Yeah. Yeah. That one, uh, that one I can't help that much with. You left Resident Evil 6 open while you went on a two-week vacation, so you have 600 hours in it now. <laughs> I missed all that. Can you do it again? No. Also, in Fungal Gravel, you can grow any of this. Some of it requires light, but you can grow any of this. I know that was uh, several people today were like, what? We gotta wait until she wakes up from abasia before we can... I shouldn't say that. We have to wait until she's no longer in paralytic abasia before we can impregnate her. I guess that makes sense. Thank you, Blue. <laughs> I didn't say it. I was just... Someone in chat said that. I was just reading it. Uh, our first mech. Oh, no. We don't have uh, EMPs. All Scythers. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta go get... I gotta go get... Uh... Screw it, guys. Oh, I don't want my... No, let's... Oh, Christ. I kind of want to see how strong we are against Scythers. Because we are very strong. But I also have these guys. <laughs> Hey, this guy. Okay, I'll use one of those. Stream rip? Oh god, I hope not. Nope. Alright. I went... Oh, right. Mech's... I will... It's gonna take forever to use this. Mech's prepare now. What's the theme of this run? You can type exclamation run, but we're dwarves. Yeah. We are the dwarves. Man, it's gonna get it's gonna take a long time to get used to mechs preparing. Over four thousand hours of mechs not preparing, and now they prepare. It's it's, it's weird. Yeah, I'll need a styling station, yeah. It's not a big deal right now, but I will. 
Yeah, that's weird, hamster. Yeah. Alcohol dependent? Yeah, we will literally die without alcohol. What are they doing while they're preparing? Scythers are psyching themselves up. We got it. These guys are just made of flesh. Aim, aim for the toes, aim for the fingers. Those are very easy to destroy. They're made out of butter. Secondary targets, arms, legs. Did I set up my own dwarf gene? I did, did I? Uh, here it is really quick, but you can go into the Discord. I'll, I'll have a command later, but you can go in the Discord and see it in more detail if you want. We're speaking binary. 101101101, brother. <laughs> the brother part's not. Which button is that? Is this is it. 101001101, brother. Scyther, by the way. Roger, roger. Say that again. Uh, the columns are sl for slowing in. I really should do this. This might could this could like literally kill us. But I gotta know. Oh, I hope we don't lose anything important like arms. Oh, right. We still have stuff down there. Whoops. There goes our drums. I gotta go get an EMP after this. Is that Neanderthal just tanking? Scythers? Hey, leave that alone. Come die. Too stupid to die. Wow. I mean, he's pretty beat up, to be fair, but still. That's five scythers. What? Six now. Well. Way to go, visitor. Can you tend to behind it'll interrupt it. It'll interrupt it. I could have tended him while the other while the other one was coming up, but I was just too impressed. I was I was just in shock. Just in shock. Did you hear him? He made that like growl noise or whatever. It's an honorary dwarf. Man, if he wants to join, we might have to let him join. <laughs> like I didn't really want him, but uh, we are going to have to get into our power production. Uh, all right. comment about him not being a threat because he only has a log. I know. I mean, yeah. It's, he's earned it if he wants to join. He's a misogynist and nudist. He's nimble. Ah, okay. That explains some of that. Legends recognize legends. Is it good to get geothermal as soon as possible? I usually do, especially in open maps. I'm not in this one, but uh, I actually could. It would be. It wouldn't be that. Man, maybe I maybe I do that with them here. Yeah, screw it. Actually, gotta be nimble if you're gonna be nude. You've heard of never nude. What about nimble nude? I gotta get someone out getting an EMP. I really wanted another joint event by now. Nimble Neanderthal, stuff of nightmares, yeah. You guys, no friggin' joke. No joke for sure. 
All right, how long until you're up? 16 days, okay. Autobong, we'll probably use the Autobong in this one, yeah. Are those plants a room? Yeah, yeah. Eventually. You see that door fortress? Yeah, yeah, uh, coincidentally. I was already planning on doing this for a while. Uh, I don't want to deal with the pig people right now doing that. The Neanderthal is also tough and unstoppable. Yeah, he really would be unstoppable. Hey, DT, have a safe drive. <laughs> Everyone dead aside from Kato. He has a bloody log. I hope not. Hope not. They're going to be gone soon, so getting this long research done while they're here seems like a great idea. Uh, let's see. They're going to leave in five hours. Oh, no. None of them wanted to join. That research done. Wake up. Waited a little too long, I guess. Betrayal. Yeah, I know. I know we have the extraction. Yeah, I was kind of waiting until the high mate was up, but and they're gone. Oh no, it bugged. So this happens sometimes. People are asking if it's dangerous to dig to the edge of the map because raids can spawn there. Not, they can't if it's a red mountain, but now these have such a long path to, to leave that they are bugging. So in order to prevent that, one of the ways to prevent that is to, uh, and they might also be doing it because of this. There's two reasons. If this, if this is the leader, that could be. What's that? I was, I was getting to geothermal. We might end up doing this uh, as a escape area for enemies. You can always heal part of it later. It's dangerous though, because if that's thin rock roof or something, we won't be able to uh, to ever fix it. Well, we got a lot of research done while they were here, so. Yes, I, I know, but. Also, I need to go back to uh, hauling now. I saw him wiggling there, but that's not the reason that they're, they're not leaving. okay so far yeah they can't find the exit because uh, this the single wide tunnel into a mountain really screws ai up a lot so that's one of the big reasons of this right here should have got that done oh well higher mining skill leave more chunks we actually, it, it it does, but the percent chance of it doing it isn't an extremely high amount. We actually were going through some stuff like that, and especially, so one of the things that we were looking at when I was making, I have a guide that is all recorded, just not out yet. Uh, anyway, that was about getting components, because I'm asked that a whole lot, right? Getting components. I already set up hauling again. There it is. Um, so, and in that guide, I was trying to figure out, all right, how many more components do tunnelers get from mining through components than other ones? And how much does skill level matter for mining through components to other ones? And the percent difference is actually kind of kind of low. They usually don't have to worry about it too much, but... A, B, C. Combat supplier, okay. Wonder joins Lilith. All right, Lilith. It's going to be our mule. Let's hold on to that bolt action in case uh, we have her as a mule. All right, Lilith. Lilith is a baseliner and capable of social. That's really annoying. Really annoying, and our dwarves are bigoted too, so. All right. Uh, all right. I was, 
I'm gonna trade with him again now. I was really hoping that the person though was gonna be social so we could we could take advantage of it, but Alright, Rhino, come back. Lilith no dwarf. Mule can't trade, yeah. Yeah, I don't really want her. So we'll probably use her in combat. And uh we could banish her. Our modest fellowship expands. Probably have her help mine out some of the stuff. Actually, let's have her help haul stuff. And we'll go from there. We know that kind of orc. If they have an EMP grenade, yeah, that's what I was going to check. EMP grenade and a smoke launcher. Stuff like that. Very nice. There we go. Excellent, excellent. Got an EMP. Let's put it here for now. Welcome back. Your steadfast okay. loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, Sly, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Sly. Sly Jaren, very much appreciated. And L. Thank you for the three months. Your favorite RimWorld dude. Discover your channel. That's awesome, yeah. Thank you for being here. I'm glad you're still around. Thank you again, Sly. Alright, so uh, we'll have her... All this crap out. That'll help a little bit. And we'll work on getting that research. Dude, a sick baby. I'm sorry, Winter. Winter Z. They were watching, though. Lots of stuff coming to YouTube. Does anyone have to have a beard so we set it up that way but unfortunately i'll show you so unfortunately the men having the gene for bushy beards overwrites the unisex beards so females aren't getting beards like they were supposed to so if we lose or when we lose or whatever i'll get rid of only bushy beards and this, this should work so kind of annoying but in the stream here you are that's awesome yeah yeah i know cringer Cringer. He he plays a lot more variety than I than I get to at the moment, but mostly strategy stuff. These guys are still here. I mean, I don't know why I'm telling you who Cringer is. You obviously know <laughs> since you mentioned it, but Hey, I came here from that stream. Oh, let me tell you about their stream. Yeah, the only bushy beards gene. Yeah. Betraying us. Betraying us. Can dev mode fix that? Maybe. Maybe. Can you remove a gene from your germ uh germ line without or with i don't know we'll see you can remove genes in dev mode okay i might do that later then <laughs> uh, or i'll just leave it for this one whatever our modest fellowship expands Praise okay, the so that's Overhead Mountain, so we should be fine doing it like that. Should be fine. That will leave an escape route so that we don't have this bug happening. Uh, Winter Z, thank you for the Switch Prime. Thank you, Winter Z. I think we're using that here. Hopefully things get better for you soon, but yeah, it's rough. When you remove it, game, treat it like you still had it. When you get ready from there, no. You cannot get ready from the same tile as Overhead Mountain. Why did I move to the, mind the border so that people can escape that way? Blood for them. Awkward, oh, yeah. No, we tested this in the Winston Waves run over and over, and yeah. Yeah, I might do it, or we might just change the, or fix the beard thing when, uh, when we inevitably die. This will stop that bug from happening. 
burn them all as they leave. Yeah, we could. My overheater base, though. So, I guess we'll just... Did Cassandra only attack once the last couple times? She's only rolled a double raid one time. It's interesting. Interesting. To connect the other door folds. Right, we're making the deep roads. Making the deep roads. Not not a great thing to make, the deep roads. Whoa, what was that about? Lilith insulted Claw's muscles. Yeah, right, Lilith. Get out of here. Claw, let's look at you. Seven melee. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Do you even lift, bro? What do you say to me, Nondorf? Insects are the dark spawn. Yeah, that works. That works perfectly. Perfectly. All right, I need to chill out after this. Yeah, you see how they're leaving now as soon as there was an extra opening. Psychodrome medium. So apparently that's mined enough for now. So we'll just cancel the rest right now. Make sure they stay. We'll have them stay inside right now. Okay. All right, see ya. How do I avoid infestations? I don't, I just kill them. What's the challenge? Same challenge as always. Just five percent no pause. Five percent no pause. Can you paint unsmooth floor? I don't know. That's a good question. I, I don't know. You cannot paint unsmoothed. Unfortunately. Can you paint smoothed? Yes. Yes, you can. Can raiders come from the new tunnel? They cannot. Uh, they can't because it's overhead mountain. Raids cannot spawn from a tile where overhead mountain is so. Same thing we do every day, Pinky. Try to take over the world. You can do Exhalation Run if you want some more specifics about this run. But yeah. Man, it's going to be a lot of smoothing to get that done, though. Oh, uh, well, in the long run, I'll need to do it anyway. Okay. Start all factions run. <laughs> they just left their friend behind. They did, yeah. Smoke leaf dependence, psychite addiction, <laughs> chemical damages, kidney. Incestuous. All right, we're going to get this research done and uh, then we'll work on some babies, but not that kind, not the incest and incestuous dwarfs. No, in ancestral, ancestral. 47 beer. Okay, we are going to have to... What's wrong with that? We're going to have to grow more. What's the sensitivity of hops? 70%, really. I never realized that. Ancestrials. <laughs> hey, it worked for the ancient Romans. Uh, yeah, where are they these days anyway, those ancient Romans? Whatever happened to those guys? Played through on YouTube and you couldn't believe all the gift subs at the beginning. Yeah, that was crazy, Panda. I, I can't, I still can't believe that happened. Some of them are under a volcano. Roaming shambles right now. The babies will be dwarves, yep. They should be. I have it set for them to be. 
Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier, actually. We were talking about it because someone had a tantrum and they destroyed a bunch of the food and we were like, oh man, if they destroyed the beer, it would be like a an Armageddon, like an extinction level event, like Armageddon, right? So yeah, I probably will end up having to do that. Yeah, I haven't grown a hop since 1.0. Like I've literally not made beer in my games. I don't think it's sometime near 1.0. Can you change prisoner clothing? You can, but without a mod, it's very annoying. So if you want to change prisoner clothing, what you do is use zone for your people to go drop or clothing off in there. So like a storage zone or a shelf or whatever, have them drop the clothing in there. Or you can have your person wear the clothing, clothing that you want the prisoner to have. Take your person in there and strip all their clothes off. And then strip the prisoner down naked and they'll put on the better clothing. Or you can get a mod that you can just set up prisoner outfits. Not the beer. It was Soul Sapper, yeah. You take ownership of your tantrum. Sanders definitely getting her uh, six traders in early this year. Look at that. Why would you close your prison? Close your prisoners. Good question. Dress patience mod, yeah, yeah. And then you, yeah, with that one, you can even do it when they're uh, when they're unable to move, right? If I remember right. Kim fuel mortars and beer storage room with straw flooring. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think I will. I might just go ahead and get the telescope, honestly. This is sacrilege selling that, though. I think I'm going to. Sacrilege. How could you? <laughs> yeah, they're in a Beja auto join, which is from it's part of uh, it's part of royalty. Basically, they're paralyzed for the first forty days they're with us, pretty much. Death rest. That's for vampires for sanguophage. So, by default, sanguophages have to go into dead rest, which is basically like a it's kind of like a coma-like state to recuperate. Supplies for Bliss's Bluff. 680 cloth. Not growing cloth right now. Uh, you can't settle on impassable terrain. Yeah, this is mountain. Can't without a mod anyway. So, there we are. A little mountain home. Down by the Empire. Some good P music. Is there anything other than good P music? The answer is no. The answer is no. What's intentionally playing different? I'm not going to use the normal kill boxes that I use. I'm probably going to use lots of rooms that I usually don't use instead of putting everything in one big room, etc. More melee. Anyone played? The first men. The developer sent me an email about it, but I haven't I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. <laughs> an impid that's incapable of violence. What are the dwarf genes? Did I die or finish the last run? I finished it. Yeah, I like the hydro power overall. I liked it better when heavy bridges were in the base game back before 1.0, before they removed them. But they're especially good if you have heavy bridges, yeah. Beer without hops, we're, we're, we're growing hops. First playthrough you've watched from the beginning? That's awesome. Dying is a way to finish. That's true, too. <laughs> that is true. Hmm. 
vampire prisoner lost his heart in a prison break it's now death resting yeah so if a if a single phage has is missing enough that they would normally a normal colonist would die they go into death rest as well uh until you give them those organs or whatever they need the only way to flat out kill them forever is destroy their brain they can live without lungs and a heart and then when you give them a heart and a lung they'll be able to wake up from death rest again yeah, well, I should I shouldn't call it heavy bridges. So basically, for anyone that doesn't know, in the early like in in beta of RimWorld, you were able to build stone walls on top of wooden bridges. You could build anything on top of wood bridges, and they changed it later on. So what you could do is you could actually make just wooden bridges around the water as you saw fit, and then you could just make stone on top of it, and enemies wouldn't like light it on fire or whatever, you know. So, um, but yeah, I, overall, I do like uh, river maps. Rivers can be very good defensively as well. Yeah, destroying their brain can happen if you shoot them hard enough in the leg right now. Yep. Which is a bit silly, but. Yeah. Oops. So we're going to have to have hydroponic beer. <laughs> Extract everyone's brain in your colony. As long as there's an overhead mountain at the edge, raiders can't spawn there. Right. Yep. So you see how that's dark green? So. Since all this is overhead mountain, raiders cannot spawn from that direction. Unless they change it in biotech. I haven't done this in biotech, but before biotech, they couldn't. So if they if they end up spawning there, it'll be a big surprise for me. Was it a huge river map? Super strong. Yeah, yeah, it's very strong, yeah. Stranded Alien Dawn. I have not looked at it, no. Stranded Alien Dawn. All right, so yeah, we're just surviving until this research is done, and then that's going to send our wealth up a bit, but that's all right. And then we'll work on getting some babies. Some babies. We're going to have that high mate in seven days, too. You mean RimWorld Biotech? Uh, the solo Mechanator run is probably the one after this one, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Chutai could spawn raids there. That would be interesting, yeah, like dirt moles can spawn from there. I actually was really hoping that dirt moles could tunnel in. Like when a dirt mole raid specifically happened, that they would like come out like insects do. That would have been kind of cool. What happened to the old run? We finished it. Finished it. Uh, high mate genes are not passed on. It's mod wife. Doing okay. Going all right. That'd be insane because they're good at melee. I know it would be, but it would be like give them less raid points and have that happen. It would have been kind of cool, yeah. What is Dwarf Gene? It's, uh, these. What happened to the guy in the bed? Nothing happened with him. He has a Beja. It's just an Abasia join. Uh, we have Flu. Oh, they tinted it before I got there. So, if you have Royalty, you can have Abasia auto joins, and it, they're just paralyzed for, like, 40 days. Dwimmer? No, I'm going more Warhammer Dwarves. I just did a, a lot of Mechanator stuff, so. More like the Dawi. The Dawi. That's also our friggin' priest that got the flu. So I can't preach health on them. We can switch the priest roll over if they're gonna die. Right now, though, they're already beating this pretty handily, so. I think they'll be okay as long as we get them tinted again immediately. So. Oh no, I should not have fought those rhinos. Oh uh, well. I had to see, I had to see. Tumor, we're a type of elf anyway. Yeah, that's true. Different guns affect the rate that upon learns shooting. I guess technically. Manhunter pack. I guess te technically they do. Well, some guns have a much lower cooldown and they get experience on shot, right? So. Oh, geez. Yeah, I don't want to melee tank 19 boom rats. Why are they named high mate? Because that's literally what they are. They're a high mate. They're for breeding purposes. It's our steel doors. <laughs> 
Cassandra's like, I'll burn your base down. All right, we're not going out there. But it's a high mate. Yeah, it's one of the 10 new factions, so. I think we'll be all right. Let's go take a look at what's going on outside. The noise, the noise, the noise. Who am I, the Grinch? <laughs> Backstory for high mates. Yeah. Adult doll faction. Her gene, high mates don't really pass on their genes. You know? So. Yeah. High mates can be used as breeding tools. They don't create new high mates, as far as I'm aware. Xander is when she gives you the whole tribe, the flu at once. Yeah, luckily it only hit one, which is like minimum roll, actually. Research is almost done. All right, so when research is done, we are going to get the geothermal uh, going up through here. We'll end up... I guess I won't. It's going to get burned. I... I'm not going to smooth the wall on the geothermal in uh, incoming wire at first. I could actually run it back this way over time, but anyway. We'll get the geothermal in. We'll get this stuff switched over to electricity. So we'll get like an electric stove. We'll get electric lights and things like that. And then we're going to get our machining table down. We're going to make a production specialist and get a couple more shotguns. Uh, and then work on getting some baby dwarves going. Made Smurfs have doors. <laughs> Does the flu count as a major event? No, no. It's separate than, than major raids and stuff. Themed run today as well. Pollution cleanup. 100% polluted world. Wow. Five waste raiders. Three nano chips for atomizer tech. No mechanics were interesting. What size world are you doing that on? Did I intentionally open the way to the north? I sure did. Yeah. I did to let people out. Maximum level reached. What? What was that? Insatiable D. Fifty-two months. That's so long. <laughs> Uh, I say she'll think about the tier three sub, the golden sub for 52 months. It's unreal, man. Through like every game change. Thank you, Insatiable. Glad you're still around. Uh, I opened it up. So the reason why, if you weren't here, oh, are we out of medicine completely? We are. Is uh, there is a bug where the visitors couldn't leave the map because they couldn't find the way out. So I made them a hole. I made them a hole. All right. Um, I think most of them are sleeping. Welcome back. So we should be okay, I think. Your steadfast loyalty. Hey, Ram. Is Seventeen months. Thank you, Aram. Hey, it's a long time, also. Almost a full calendar year. That fifty-two months. <laughs> Okay. Got that bug and they were eating all your food. Yeah, the the game has a real problem with people, especially uh, visitors pathing through a single wide tunnel. Drive was so small 52 months ago. Now she watches. That's awesome, Arcutus. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. You had to kill like 15 Empire guys. Yeah. Ah, you can cook. All right, we got to the geothermal. Good job knocking out those. We're actually probably overcooking now too that the uh, the visitors left. So I'll turn this down to 14-ish. 191, 191, that, that sounds, that sounds good. 
All right, back out. You can go. Good thing food. Yeah, yeah. Can't pass the flu with food or anything. Yeah. Thank goodness. It's the first day of the run. Yep. It is. First day. I don't want us going all the way out there to, vi to visit that, so we're going to clear the work zone from there. Requesting workers. Borrow one colonist for six days. Okay, how's Dylan here? Uh, sorry, Dylan. <laughs> but he wasn't sorry. He wasn't sorry at all. DLC make the game harder with all the crazy new enemy races. It can make it harder or easier depending on what you do, which I think is a good thing, right? And there's a lot of RP type stuff with it. There's a lot of min maxing stuff with it. So there's there's both sides, which I, I really like a lot. I do like that raids can have a variable uh, number of the new xenotypes and in, in fact, full different xenotype raids because it really does make you look at them a little bit different. So like right now, if we had an impid raid, I, it would be a little bit scarier, right? Because I it, right now I'm just doing close range, so impids I'm gonna have to think about a little bit differently. So, it's uh, yeah, or like ne Neanderthals. You see Neanderthals coming, you're like, oh, they're gonna be super friggin' tanky. Got to be careful of those, you know. See, I do like that. Uh, here's an impid right now. No one steals a dwarf's food. Get out of here. Or people don't like that kind of stuff. Foam turrets, yeah, we're nowhere near there, but eventually we'll need fire foam for sure. Yeah, that's true too. Waster raids in the mountain might be a real, real, real pain. So that was a wild impid yet. Yep. All right. The power is ours. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to make sure that we remove the roof area here. So remove the roof area over that. And uh, ultimately get that fixed. Um, we're on limestone there too. All right. Man, oh man. Glad when this high mate is up and everything. Yeah, the problem with the fire foam is they need to be manually turned on. Yeah. Whereas poppers don't. Slay everything without a beard. Beards and belts. That's right. Got another Dawi in the chat. Oh, right. That's, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Why remove roof? Because the geothermal produces a bunch of heat. And I don't want someone to come over there. I don't want anything to set on fire, but also don't want someone to come over there and, you know, go inside and get roasted. So I just remove the, remove the roof so it doesn't hold the heat in. Rock and stone, rock and stone. What's a high mate? The high mate is one of the 10 new uh, factions or races, you know, types, whatever you want to call them, added to the game. They're basically, they're basically like prostitutes. They're live-in prostitutes. Pretty much, pretty much. You can build a vent. Uh, if you build a vent, then enemies can break it. Enemies will target a vent, but they won't target a wall. And if you mean a vent, like you can leave extra space, that allows for drop pod and scatter drop to land inside of it. So th that's why I do this. Another manhunter. Two manhunters in a row. Dogs. Okay. That's why I prefer it this way. If the other way works for you. It's all good. Cassandra with double manhunter. Okay. Right as those guys are leaving. That's true, yeah. Concubine, I guess, is a is a close way to put it. Designer wife. <laughs> Alright, 15 labs.
spirit in your chimney and they can't yeah that's true if you do that so if you wanted to do it that way but i mean why not just do no roof you know like having no roof literally costs you nothing including no work time at all but if i made like an extra little cubby here for a chimney like and then i put a like it's more it, it really doesn't matter either way like that amount of material is not going to matter but you if you did it you're just using more work time and more material building the little chimney and building the blockage for it or using a spot and then building the roof it's just like way to plant your anima tree with a dev tool there's a way to make it regrow but i don't think you can choose you might as well use the mod if you want to choose where it goes that's right December 6 door fortress door fortress How's it going, puppies? That's just how that's that's just how they are. I don't know. That's just how they are. That's just how biotech uh, high mates are. You can force it to grow, but I don't think you can choose where the animatory grows with you with dev mode specifically. Just literally make it grow somewhere, but unless they changed it. Bark, 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 bark. I think dogs can't open doors. Well, these ones anyway. Yeah, I do wish... So, I, I hope it's good either way, and I can overlook graphics in general in a game if it's good. So, I really hope all games are good, obviously. But I did... When I watched the trailer for it, I was like, man, I wish they had made some kind of animation for the characters. I'm sure people will mod it and whatnot, but... It was a little disappointing that the sprites are just, like, perfectly still. And, like, move from tile to tile perfectly still. And I know, it's like, well, that's better than at symbols and number signs and... It's called hashtags these days, Adam. Hashtags. But, but yeah, I was a little disappointed with the the uh, creator's art style choice. But pretty much mandatory for it. Well, this is a completely different door fortress. Yeah, this is completely. This is the new, the one they've been working on for whatever, forever. So I'm sure there will be animation mods for this new version as well. I'm gonna try to tame bugs this run. Probably not. Go. But I'm not. I'm not talking about the current door fortress. I'm talking about the one that's coming. Strange Alien Dawn. I. I don't remember. I know I've seen the name. All right. The dogs. Ah, uh, we'll wait till they're. Wait till they're gone. But yeah, if you haven't seen the trailer for the December 6th new Door Fortress, it is up on Steam. Three hives. Just don't really need this stuff. Rimworld meets Jurassic Park evolution. But the jelly, I can get jelly whenever I want. I can just drum for jelly. It's pretty far away. He's really far away. I'm giving DF a real solid try as the UI. Well, are you, are you trying to do one? <laughs> Send raiders through water, make them wet, and give them a movement debuff or something. It gives them a mood debuff. And they're slow while they're in the water, yeah. Charges. But they're not a dwarf. And we're extremely racist. And anyway, they would die way before we got there. Hey, the high mate is up. We have to get them converted, which is going to be pretty tough, I think. 
Pretty tough. All right. Uh, let's see why we would get just throwing down the ideology symbol in here. Seventy-one. Ninety-one. Okay. A relationship. Oh no, ape. You're not related to us. You're not a dwarf. Oh, they're related to the high mate. Ah, well. This one's 325, yeah. What well, ideology? You can do exclamation memes to see what our ideology is if you want. Sucks that they're 24 or 44. I don't know. They're going to be too very fertile in general. I can have them romance a high mate, but I just... What's their fertility rating? If only she was a dwarf. 3.3%. Jeez. That sucks. Sir Commander Jeans? No, not yet. What's the name of the faction? Yeah, they're uh, they're basically capable of violence, but make people really happy. They're pretty much always happy, and they make others really happy. I mean, in the custom settings, Reeve. Hmm. hmm. We could implant in them. Yeah. I have no medicine, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. If they're lovers, yeah. But I mean, 400% is still, you know, 12%. So, not so sure they're gonna they're gonna be of much use in that regard. So, but they are good at trading. We'll probably go send them to trade. We've been wanting to do that for a little while. So, we finally have someone that can do so. All right, let's go. Uh, allow these doors again. Get that held open. And let's form a caravan up here. Might actually keep that for right now. I mean, if she gets stopped by something, she's just dead, but oh well. It's a lot too, because the love of the day, double bonus. Yeah, I know. We just need some relationships. Yeah. Just need some relationships. I really thought the free and approved would help a lot with it, but it hasn't. It really hasn't. And they're having a minus four from sharing bed, so we should probably just stop that. Pass that away ahead of his time with my basic. Uh... It's kind of crazy. In the last run, I wasn't trying to get babies. We just had babies all the freaking time. This one we need some, but I need medicine. Then I can start implanting. <laughs> How much does the name... Right, when do the names reset? They never reset. It's not a queue anymore. It's a raffle, so they don't reset. Can you force romance now? You can force them to try for a romance, yep. You can force them to try. So we'll eventually do this the right way, but for now, we're just running it. We're just gonna run it all the way, whoops. And it'll be ugly and Tynan will look at it and he'll be like, perfect, that's exactly what I had in mind. I like it when conduits are just everywhere. I like four wide conduits all over the base, just everywhere. Box art. Utility procedure, I have them, yeah, but I need medicine. I have the fertility thing researched, but I don't, I need medicine. 
I think you need medicine to do them right. Italian destroyed life. I can set them to get pregnant if they're in a relationship and it'll be four times the chance. But right now, because of her age, it's 3%. So four times three is still not great at 12. And the other ones are not in a relationship yet, so. But I was hoping the free and approved would help with it all, but it hasn't. Thank you, Jenny. Welcome back. Had to move places, Kat. The high mate when she woke up. Uh, we're sending her off to trade because she's good at socials. Or social. I'm trying IVF and then VAT babies until three. That's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. We're a little ways being able to have all that set up. What's a closet with a passive cooler? That's where we create our beer because if we don't have beer, we'll die. You might be saying, Adam, isn't that a little drastic? Surely you won't die without beer. No, we'll literally die. Alcohol dependency. We'll fall in a coma and die if we don't have beer. <laughs> it's really odd how even though the ideology says that it's okay, no one does it and they get mad about it. I know, I... They seem to do it a lot when the ideology essentially first came out, but yeah. I've been noticing the same kind of thing, especially in this one, obviously. <laughs> hey, look here. Look at this. Look what we got here. Couldn't remember where that dropped, but I found it. Hi, mate, in a few age reversal cycles. <sighs> Uh, we're not, so we're not transhumanists, so age reversal will take a very long time. And we're not anywhere near there on research. We're just now getting to electricity because we are a tribal start. But I mean, eventually that might be a plausible option, but at the moment it's, it's not, you know. Power. I need some more of those refugees. By the time I get age reversal, she'll have died of old age. <laughs> what are the stone types in this one? Limestone and sandstone. If you had the same dependency on Psychite and Smoke Leaf, I know. We could uh, we could have all kinds of all kinds of craziness. Hi, Libido, not wanting to engage Lubin with others the Xenotype. He loves baseline humans. That's interesting. Or that's what's going on with ours. Yeah, all of ours. We have the high libido as well, but execution precept is oddly effective at improving relationship between pawns. There's also an exploit. I don't know if it still exists, and I don't. I don't think I'm gonna do it. But there's an exploit where you can do a role change. Well, I. I, I guess this is for the social stat though, so it's a little bit different. You can do a role change and then cancel the role change before they're done to get a lot of social experience and then maybe the social helps, but yeah, I don't know. Does beer still affect them negatively? It doesn't seem to. Royals needing help. Uh, a yeoman with seven court allies. Huh. It's a lot of food. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it again. I don't see any real big downside as long as we get enough food going. Manlings in our hold for favor. Furries have a 20% fertility on gene lines. Don't have that gene. All right, I think I'll accept then. Uh, let's see, sissy. Quick sleeper is good. A baseliner. Baseliner, 44 year olds, baseliner. 
So I'll just take this and use it or sell it. All right. Holy crap, look at these guys. Who's the leader? Ruzma? Ruzma? There we go. Welcome back. Your step firefighting patients bed resting. Appreciated. Basic, and we're gonna put these guys on. Uh, I guess we can pump out more research while they're here. So first off, let's just put them on research and we'll, then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then... Are any of them good at mining? You're good at mining. Yeah. That done? Gas mask, do anything else? Or anything else work against Rot Stink? Uh, I haven't tried against Rot Stink. I know there. Yeah, let me know if you try face mask. There's also face mask, there's gas mask, but I haven't tried them against it. Uh, let's see. Gray Fox. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, Gray Fox. Very much appreciated. How do you reorder them? You hold down right click and drag them where you want. Work nose. Man. Uh, also, I want to set these guys to not be drinking our beer, so... Uh, no drugs. There we go. They don't help with the rusting. That sucks. You, you test it. Yeah, that does suck. It's weird. All right. Dump the stuff off there. And... Do they have they have a smoke launcher okay can't afford it with her right now but it's good to know that we can come back up here and grab one if we want to we'll just grab however many components that she can get bring her home we also need to get a molotov sometimes i guess but all right production let's get our machine table down And we'll get the electric stove. Get into electricity. Well, we have electricity. All right, sun lamp. Excellent. Power's gonna go off every time a ray comes in and burns this, but oh well. Come back, machinery. Nice. Way to go. Lucian style, so it shouldn't interact with vanilla rot sink. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I kind of forget rot sink is 1.4 and not biotech, so that, that makes sense. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more food for these guys, but melee from getting sick while fighting manhunters. Uh, I know, that's that's what I was having happened down there, too. Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of bullcrap, too, but... Prisoner, Hebo Farms, or Medicine and Social. It's really good for doc... Uh, I was really surprised, Killer Rand. When we had a Hemogen farm with someone with a passion in medical, they were getting 3,000 experience per um, extraction. It was it was really crazy. So yeah, it seems absolutely nuts for, uh, for medical gain, yeah. We all face problems. This one uh, Rum, thank you for continuing your them. gift sub. Thank you, Rum. Appreciate that. Making beer, making beer. Major break. Quarreling, okay. 
Found more. More. Okay, so I gotta decide who are we gonna make into our first production specialist. I have a level 12 crafter. If I make Soul Sapper into a production specialist, they no longer uh, do a lot of other things, though. So we also have Tenurial, which... And it feels like I should make him into it for the long run. Like, he's at a 7, so he's not going to make as great of stuff. But we're not losing as much with, Cl with Claw being the production specialist for crafting. Although we're not doing a crap load of money. Feeling better? Depends on what you mean. Like, from where I was sick the other day, I'm feeling better from that. But as far as, like, health stuff, no, that's still going on. Automated surgery spam doctor training. Yeah, it's super, super good. Yeah, I'll have to put food a little bit higher too. Uh, meals, I should say. Uh, I definitely don't want to set them. They're also very neurotic though. I think I'm going to make Soul Sapper into the crafting uh, specialist. Whoops. All right, Soul Sapper becoming a rune smith. Way to go, Soul Sapper, way to go. You're going to make all dwarves proud. All dwarves proud. Look at those runes flashing in the depths. Those are runes. Start using shrooms. That's right. Okay, so we're going to make a chain shotgun. Wait, two of those. And we're going to drop it on the floor. And we're going to have Soul Sapper. All right, Soul Sapper. Let's get two of those. Major your break. Ah, she'll be back soon. She'll be back soon. All right, let's go ahead and run this cable up the side here. Uh, oh. Soul Sapper. He is, but it's a four, so I want to change that to a one. There we go. So he was assigned to it, but... There we go, getting our first chain shotguns. Hoping for good. Still said he wasn't. Yeah, I think that's because in here, you see? It just shows you that they're not already assigned to the job. I, I think maybe that's what's, oh no, because nuclear rhino. Yeah, I don't know why I was showing that. Oh, oh never mind. He wasn't on smithing, my bad. <laughs> for some reason in my head, I was like, ah, crafting is all crafting. No, you're, you're right. He was not set for smithing, but he was set for crafting. Yeah, smithing had nothing. Yep, yep. My bad. Yes, I know. But chat might be behind the stream a little bit, too. All right, we'll put that there. Soul Sapper, get it done. I need, I need at least this one done. I'll feel all right. Feel a little bit better. A little bit better. Starvation, uh-oh. She's pretty close to getting home. No, I mean like, you know, the stream. Chat always lags behind the stream a little bit, right? Because I have to, the broadcast has to get there, so. Middle breaks during your raids. Just lost eight columns in a row, right down after another. Biphasic schedule. That's what I usually do. That's one of the main strengths of biphasic schedule. I talk about that a little bit in the clip, but if you want the full guide, exclamation SCH. If you want just the clip version, the small version, exclamation BI will give you a clip of it. But exclamation SCH is the guide on uh, scheduling. Scheduling is a big part of keeping people happy. All right, we'll increase this while they're here. Just, uh, oops, just go to 20, 20 and 12. We will die without beer yet. Yeah. 
boy, these guys are going to run us out of food. I might have to take them out and, like, go hunting. You think they'll keep festivals the same, free colonists whenever it feels dumb? Yeah, I think they'll keep them the same. It's been like that for over a year, so I doubt they're going to change it. Oh, yeah, my pleasure, Tal. Game more enjoyable for you? That's awesome, yeah. Thank you for letting me know. She made it. She made it. Badly malnourished. Well, she barely made it. But barely still counts. Guest unhappy. Use drug? Guy. I have you assigned for no drugs. Oh, no. No, they're all set for no drugs. He went and drank a beer before I could stop him, and he's upset about it. <laughs> it's my fault. It's my fault. Hey, excellent. All right. Our first chain shotgun. Nice. Nice. Make sure break risk. Yeah, I can get over it. Don't like drugs. Don't do drugs. Yeah. It wasn't even like he was set on the schedule to like force them to do drugs either. He was just on the default like social drugs. It's like, ah. I was drinking a beer. I'm going to get mad at you that I did it. All right. Why have I let this happen? Okay. All right. Cassandra probably going to be attacking us again soon. Insulting spree. Oh, God. Come on, guy. It's bull crap. Can't defend myself from this guy. Fall down. <laughs> Stop bleeding all over the room and lay down. That one beer is really costing us yet. He gets us in a social fight with his own his own ally. Last week, make it uh yeah, we launched the ship hazardous yet. Yeah, that's what we could do. Yeah. Manage drug policies. Select social drugs. Do not use them. There we go. Pawns literally you. Yeah, start making babies. Do we have it? Have we gotten any medicine yet? All right, we got we got some medicine a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, 27, 22. Extract it. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Hey, you get out of there. We got baby doors to make. My thoughts on Door Forge. I've never tried it, but I will try out the new version on the 6th of December when it comes out. All right. I'm just hoping for the best. Uh, Rain Man, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Lee. Rain Man and Lyra. Is that how you pronounce your name? Lyra, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here, Lyra. How goes it? Going all right. It's going all right. Choose a man to fertilize this. Oh, crap. I forgot. <laughs> uh, Yeah, don't fertilize that one. I don't want to inbred Dorth. Stop it. Don't do the thing. Don't do it. All right, let's, let's wait a little bit. Roll tide. 
Because then the game warns you. It's like, uh, you're about to... You're about to commit incest. Are you sure you want to do this? Just, just so you know what you're about to, about to do. At least I was nice enough to put that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, we'll extract a different one. CK3 players are excited. That was a mod for that. Don't need a mod for that now. It's okay as long as you keep it in the family. Tell that to the baby dwarves with three toes. Three toes on their face. Drunken Fight Club, yeah. Next run idea, all, all incest. I keep it in the family run, no. <laughs> no. Egyptian pharaohs. No, I've been talking about doing this run for, uh, for since bi Biotech came out. No, that was a coincidence, yep. What's path through the water for? It's eventually gonna be to uh, get heat out of here. Right now though, we're using it for a telescope. Door Fortress coming to steam, yep. Has a release date now. Rhino insulted Mep's grandparents. Maybe if your grandparents didn't suck, they wouldn't get insulted. All right. You ever think about that? You should have chose. Uh, that's not how I want to do that. <laughs> you should have chose better grandparents. You can't choose your grandparents. Yes, I, I know how to do that, Elks. Thank you. I will when I need to, but not yet. This isn't my first mountain base. All right. All right. I will, yes. Yeah, I've done I've done many, many mountain bases. But it's kinda weird watching me go over into the corner. <laughs> Just going over in the corner and they're like, alright, let me deposit the seed here. Oh, right. I have to come back. Uh, the person earlier that, that did a summon and I didn't have the time to do it. Um, uh, Verona, type exclamation quote for Granny. If you're still here, I don't know who did it earlier. I'll refund your points if you're not still here. But, all right. It's like my dear old Granny used to say. She was always saying this. I don't want the pool noodle on my nipples. I don't know what she and my grandpa were doing in the back room every time I heard that, but some things are better left unknown. Alrighty. All right. Okay. So I can, I don't know. I don't know if I should do that or not. Maybe I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it. We can always get more, right? Can always get more. Chance for the embryo. It's only 6.2%. So our, our best bet is actually... We'll see what it is on a 27. Alright. Sloth. Here we go. Growing that. Maybe. Maybe I should until they're three. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Uh. Who's that? Uh, Death Gun. Death Gun. Thank you for the subscription. Also much appreciated. Thank you for the supports. 
Uh, growth fat. I have to get a microelectronics. Ugh. <sighs> Fellow sloth kitten. If you're needed, <laughs> love to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with it. Hopefully it goes all right. Uh, no, there's not. It's just that I forgot to do it. Just I forgot to do it. There is one benefit of keeping both, and that's if there's like a solar flare or power goes down in some way. Have the old one around that I can turn back on uh, in those events can be a good thing, but I'll get vampires this run. Probably not. I got a lot last run. Yeah, if there's like a solar flare, they take out power. It's nice to have one to continue cooking with, but aside from that, not really. All right, so we do need a little bit more steel. So we're going to work on getting this division here. Uh, and we'll go mine elsewhere. Surgery failed. Oh, that sucks. So I guess it's just lost then, right? The ovum is gone. That sucks. Fortress time. Ah, we'll try again. It's the life of a dwarf, I guess. Do this while they're awake. Can't do it any other time. You have to wait 10 days, basically, to just do the open thing again. Must suck, yeah. It does. All right, we got enough steel to make our second chain shotgun. So we'll have three blockers, two shotguns. Should do fairly well. Uh, Soul Sapper, just finish that off. You were almost done, like 95%. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. I made up only family members. Man, they're getting, they're getting older. I guess. Hmm. I guess we'll get to go ahead and get to our microelectronics. Try to get to the growth fat. So. I smell awful in that room. Nah, it's fine. Doors have a very poor sense of smell. Ah, uh, yeesh. They live four months. Thank you, yeesh. Food is food situation is not good with all these people here. All right, we'll have that person help. A raid, Tang Wheatley, unusually clever. Uh oh, thing is getting serious. Free EMP grade. All is really not what we're wanting to see here. All right. All right, nine pirates. Well, pirate goodies. Dorsen smells great, they just don't care. Okay. Molotov up front. That's actually kind of good for us. Persona Monosword.
Yeah, this melee block thing is gonna be not great against like these. Uh, it's a fire foam popper. Tox packs and stuff like that. We're gonna get collision over there. Okay. Back to work. So Cassandra is active. Cassandra is active. We got another EMP, which is really nice. Too bad about this one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Security. Let me turn it there. Um, I guess we'll just do the stone door, it's fine. Okay, there we go. Got some medicine from that, got a Molotov, very nice. Very nice. New lovers! Claw and the high mate, okay. She has a uh, play her stone. She has a very low percent chance of getting pregnant, but okay, claw and the high mate. <laughs> okay, choose the high mate. Health or uh, social. Oh man, I just I just saw that she can still do that. It's interesting. Pregnancy, try for baby, 400%, which is only going to be a 12%, but it is what it is. Hi, mate said, it's breeding time. Is that baby chance boost? Right, 400% of 3% is still 12. So it's still not going to be a high one no matter what. No matter what we do. Guest is unhappy. We'll just stop being unhappy. <laughs> I'm like, if only it was that easy. If only it was that easy. Okay. Um. I do a little bit of kind of strip mining. Not, not exactly, but we're gonna check these rooms. Just on time. Hopefully he didn't, but... Yeah, they're all set to no drugs. Depression? Does it go well? No, definitely not. Not a good thing. Not a good thing to tell him. Visitors? Do you want visitors? See so you have in a moment. Guess unhappy. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. It's not too bad. Probably get hit with a Cassandra again. I don't know. She's only well. She hit us with a double there. But We're at thirty thousand wells, you gotta be a little careful. She, those uh, those two. Shotguns and geothermal and stuff. Send us up. How many colonists? Well, it really depends. So if you have a colonist that has nothing going on, they're just like baseline, just, just baseline. I like to have three basins per colonist. That's, that's slightly overkill. But you can technically feed one colonist on simple meals with nothing else going on. If it gets harvested and planted immediately by a pawn and only made into simple meals, you can keep someone alive on two basins forever. Cassandra this time yet? 
Looks like we're not running into any steel over here yet. Oh, there's a bunch right here that we could mine down to. But we'll see what they find here first. So I, yeah, I like to do three basins because then you have a little wiggle room, a little extra. And, you know, it's not going to be perfectly planned all the time, every single time. Uh, do I watch anything? If you if you watch a VOD on Twitch, I get nothing. No. I do not get anything. So, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, Sir Whistle, you are... You have a subscription anyway, so you won't get ads here even if you even if you didn't use a ad blocker. But Scout, welcome in. Bit by a bug. Or usually yesterday when they started allowing the Fabricor to cook. Oh, yeah. I think it's already fixed, but yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, for whatever reason, they decided to let the Fabricor cook food, which is kind of weird. I wish they'd just make a cook bot instead, because all the other bots can only do their primary job, right? But Fabricors can now cook, but there was a bug when they first allowed this, where every single thing that a Fabricor cooked, uh, or they had 100%, I should say, they had 100% chance to cause food poisoning. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Yeah, now if you watch it on, on YouTube, that's a different story, but... So Fabricor is like, ah, yeah, we'll let them cook, but they're going to make everyone sick. <laughs> Tantrum. Entombed underground. Well, just go outside. I'm not keeping... Like, look, you're zoned. Just go outside. <laughs> what a problem pond this is. Body... How is it my fault? He came to the colony as a visitor with body purist. Body purist. He shows up with an implant and he's mad and starts breaking stuff. How dare you give me this hearing aid? Starts punching things. It's like, how could you do this to me? He picks up a beer and drinks it. I'm not supposed to drink beer. It gets even worse. guy <laughs> he's punching walls it's not drywall guy you're gonna it's gonna take some effort to get through those take some effort so I'll be able to cook because it is at least ability to feed and 10 patients I'd be good with that because it's not really doing anything else either make it the home ec bot no. All right, I got that made. That'll help out quite a lot. A care bot or something. All right, well, we didn't find any in there. So we find that direction. Potato ponds are the best. <laughs> what? You wouldn't like... I'm telling you, like, my colony, if you're a good pawn, so if you have some good, you know, some some good skills, you know, some good traits, my colony is probably the best place for you to be on the planet. You know? Like, I'm going to do everything in my power to keep you alive. Alright, another manhunter. I think everyone is. Yeah, everyone's good. Manhunter, so one raid, one manhunter. Oh my. 33 waste rats. Look at those guys. The Skaven are here. I mean, the rat men, rat men do not exist. How dare you say otherwise. Hence your name. It's <laughs> a lot of rats. Now I'm entombing this guy. Now he's entombed. He thought he was before, now he really is. Boy, I hope there's no opening down here. I should have checked. Should have checked.
First time you've seen the waste rats? Yeah, they look kind of interesting. Look at those guys. The legally distinct rats are here. Probably sacrifices if you show up my colony. <laughs> How many more days on this quest? Two days. Do they give more meat than a normal? I don't know. Let's see. They give 19 leather and 35 meat. That's 35, 19. Okay. Yeah. So three more leather. Like eight more meat? Do waste rats taste like chicken? <laughs> I'm guessing probably not. Probably not. Really rat meat from a toxic animal. That's just like eating animals die. Like you can have a horse die of the plague and then immediately eat the meat and it's fine. Don't worry about it. That's Rimworld. That's Rimworld. Where's the giant rat that makes all the rules? There's no such thing. <laughs> Death gun. That's a three-year-old child worth of meat. <laughs> we measure how much meat something gives in three-year-old children. Thank you, Rimworld. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Just gotta cook it real well. Man, I wanted some dwarf babies by now. Did you guys get some love in last night? Let's let's look at you. This is so weird. Opinion of your lover. You guys need to get to it. <laughs> no, no. No further questioning. Fifty percent just being conscious plus fifteen percent. So nice. We need a high mate for all of our dwarves. Barracks reduce the chance for loving. No, it doesn't. But her being in her forties does, and I'm meaning that like literally, it does. It's not just me like making a joke or something, but you steal implants from visitors, kinda. Depends on the implant. Mm -hmm. So fair height together was a normal option. Yeah, I wish I wish so as well. But it is a mod, a minor mod, but a mod nonetheless. Yeah, we, we had some people in the barracks getting like 11 times 8 not long ago, so. That's a lot of rats. That is a lot of rats. All right. We're going to get to some advanced research, I suppose. We need a lot more steel. Oh, we hit more steel there, too. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Way to go. It's a family-friendly channel. Yeah, we promote family growth. That's right. All families. I mean, aside from mine, obviously. Should have 10 children. All dwarf families should have 10. Uh, the gene command I'll have on there for the next one. Yeah. I thought I had it set up before the stream, but apparently I didn't save it. Do you know what which mech can use the crematorium? 
So that's to any mech, but not the fabric or the lifter. It's burning corpses. I think burning corpses is a hauling task, but it's pretty low down, I think. So let's see. Yeah, do cremation, Bill. You see how it's down in like the last 40% of this? So your if the bot can work at the crematorium, it is the lifter, but it has to have done all this other stuff in the list first. So. But yeah, it is a hauling task, but it's pretty low down the priority in hauling. So they have to get through all this other crap first. <laughs> Can't wait till we have some Dwarven babies. Even they have to be Dwarven vat babies. All right. Uh, any of this other we want to grab before we go into advance? Mortars. Where's into human hats? I can't in this playthrough now. I think cremating should be pretty hot. Should be higher up in the list. And you can download mods where you can reorder that list if you want. Like work tab. There's a couple other ones. Sanitation is really important. You can use mortar under the mountain. You cannot, but you can use it from Thin Rock Roof. You can remove Thin Rock Roof, and there will definitely be spots of Thin Rock Roof. So, um, yeah, we will get mortars. We'll find some Thin Rock Roof to have our mortars located, even if it's like here, you know. Obviously, that's not Thin Rock Roof, but you get the idea. We'll definitely be using mortars this game at some point, though. All right, that should be good. We have been being eaten out of house and home by all these visitors. When do you guys leave? They've eaten all our food. Now they're going to leave. They leave in nine hours. Oh, and mushrooms are nowhere near. Coming back in. We're going to have to go get more food. These freaking guys. It's my pest control method. Are you talking about insects? We just kill them, yeah. We already had one infestation. We just kill them. You got bugs? You just kill them. Notice I'm not putting anything in the doorway so we can melee block. Yeah, we had an infestation very shortly after we settled in the mountain. Raid spawn from the spot? No, you cannot get a raid from here. It's overhead mountain. Can't get a raid from the same tile as overhead mountain. Can you give toxic waste pack to guests that leave? No. <laughs> going so far joe it's going all right it's going all right paul welcome in by the way they were coming in Get these guys out of here <laughs> we're gonna have no food would you keep an infestation alive to buffer against raids sometimes i do yeah and this one infestations right now are going to spawn basically in our base um so obviously i'm not gonna be able to do that in this one but I have done that a bit, a bit, a bit. Get in there. Oh, there's a rat left. Run, run. I almost called him gasoline. What do we get from this? Like a little bit of hyperweave or something? Yeah. All right, let's see here. That was our second Cassandra hit, so we're safe for about six days. How do you set the pawns work tier up? Can't, can never seem to find a good balance. So are you talking about in the, in this tab? So for me, so it's important to note that it goes from left to right, one through four. So that means it will start at the left and it'll go through looking for the ones. And when it hits a one, it'll say, all right, is there a job that needs done right now that I am zoned to be able to do in this category. If not, it'll keep going. It'll go all the way from the left to the right as ones. And then it'll start over at the beginning and go from two. And it'll keep doing that all the way through four, right? 
So that's the first thing to, to note uh, is how the actual priority goes. As far as what you set your priorities to, it really depends a lot on obviously what pawns you've gotten and um, uh, how many pawns you have, right? So whether you need to have more like specialists that only have like one or two jobs or something like that. But my thing that I usually do in general throughout the whole run is first off, I'm looking for what do I need to keep us alive? So obviously things like planting, All right, well, it still shows the streams up on my end. So usually when I see F suddenly in chat, the stream has gone down or something. So anyway, I usually, yeah, not that kind of F, yeah. <laughs> uh, I usually do like planting and stuff that, that we need to like keep ourselves alive, right? And then I just go from there. I also like to put everyone on like pretty high cleaning, especially early to keep things um, higher quality so their mood is up. But yeah, usually left, as long as you know the priority, how the priority system works, you can then go through and, and look at like passions and skill levels and decide what you want to do. Welcome back. Your ah, I got you. loyalty is greatly appreciated. Let's go now. It has been with uh, biotech anyway, Alf. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry about. Yeah, ads are going to be really bad in November. I'm sorry. There's information. Definitely don't don't get an ad block. Wink. Yeah, it would be nice if there was if you had ads that there was no pre-roll at all anymore. But it only gets through the pre-roll for a short time, so. Uh Azra Malice, thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. Aztec Kid, thank you for the two months. Thank you, Aztec. Jasmine, thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Jasmine. Do you have a reliable way to deal with ranged enemies in a killbox funnel in a pure melee run? Not really. This is about as good as you can get. There is another thing that you can do as well. Like if you set up a, something like this and then you have two doors where you attack, you can actually crowd around and get five attackers hitting that same one. So like if you have a, a door exiting here, you can have one, two, three, four, five when they go into it and they'll try to go through the door before they get to you. But free rolls aren't too bad. You only have one. But yeah, I did a melee only run. You can check out what I what I did on that run if you want. I did a melee only. It's up on YouTube. I think exclamation melee will take you straight to it. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I had elephants. <laughs> I had elephants to go in. So as far as just melee colonists, yeah, it's kind of rough. This is about as this kind of setup is about as good as you can get with that five melee hit. Unless you're wanting to do corner punch. I didn't do the corner punch for that one. Medium psychic drone for five days. I think not. I think not. I'm actually a little worried about this food situation. Hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the microelectronics. So, uh, or we're already at microelectronics. Get to advanced research. And I think I'll actually put it back here. I'm gonna cancel that. No, I. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter for right now. Hmm. Maybe. I have dwarves as xenotype? Do you get a dwarf raider sometimes? No. There's a mod for that, but no. Wonder why? I'm, oh yeah, yeah, I got that a lot in the last playthrough. The singularity thing. Yeah. What I aiming? What ending am I aiming for? I'm not sure. I don't really have that in my mind, but I think the one that would be most fitting with this kind of playthrough would probably be royalty. So if this survives long enough to start really thinking about endings, we'll probably try to get to the royalty side. Yeah, I I know about that's I consider that kind of the melee. One of the melee exploits, yeah. I know about the wood generator and having enemies path through it and they can't hit the center mass of it with your melee pawn there. Yeah. Those ones are even more exploitive than the singularity box, so I don't usually use them, but I do know of them, yeah. If you want to use them, go for it. Use corner punch, use the use the generator cheese, use whatever you want, but yeah. 
I don't mind. All right. Um, let's see. So if we're going to be fighting here a lot, eventually having this be... I mean, at that stage of the game, I can just make sterile tile wherever the crap I want. So I was thinking about putting the research where I'm going to make sterile tile the soonest, so it's not kind of wasted. But, I mean, thinking ahead to sterile tile at this stage is like, whatever. We're not going to have sterile tile for quite a long time. So I don't think it matters that much. So I'm going to just throw the advanced research back here. Don't need that many benches anymore. Yeah, it's fine. No weapon for the high mate. Well, high mates can't fight, so no. High mates are incapable of violence. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's move that. Solar Flare taking the power out right before we decided to go into advanced research. <laughs> Looks like some of the mushrooms are going to come in at a very, very good time. Man, those guys came through and ate all of our food. And they peaced out. <laughs> like, literally, they were here long enough to just eat all the food. And they left. They're delicate. Yeah, they go down fast. High mates definitely go down fast. It's just in their DNA. Because they're delicate. Yeah, they, they, they're like wimps. I don't know what else you could gather from that. You didn't know high mates were good. Someone said they're like a shiny Pokemon, which is kind of true. Uh, so when you have a high mate bonded to someone, check this out. They're bonded to Claw. Claw, just from having a high mate lover, is having his pain reduced by 50% and his conscious increased by 15%. Delicate like tasty. <laughs> Tinder. Tinder and mild. It's like, it's, there's always in that joke about Silent Night. It's like, I don't understand. Why is he de why is he describing the baby Jesus like he's a piece of chicken? Tinder and mild. It's like a Burger King commercial. They're new chicken nuggets. Love makes you more powerful. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, and the mood. Yeah. Yeah. Psychic Bond at plus 12. Crazy. I might make Claw the leader because of that, actually. I think I will. Let's go ahead and make Claw into the leader. Claw, would you like to be the leader of everyone? The leader of the free worlds? This is not the free worlds. <laughs> soon, soon. We gotta, we gotta get this food, uh, food going first. Extra crispy. All right. Uh, time to get into our high tech research. Start with two. I made made so the dwarf which genes will prevail. The dwarf ones. Yeah, as long as we put the dwarf one as passed on with genes, I think. Maybe she's a tender, mild chicken hut. <laughs> Cooking storage. I, I there's no reason to. I I will. Don't worry. I just I did it literally in the playthrough right before this. But at the moment I'm just saving uh, wealth and raid points on stuff that doesn't you know it doesn't matter at the moment. It's not a lot of raid points, but it is some. At the moment we don't need the extra space. It's fine. All right, growth vet. Growth vet. Throw these out of here right now. Get that extra space. Alright, uh, and now we're going to have some idle people because we don't have enough research, advanced research benches for everyone. What do we need for this? Components. So we need to work on finding those components. All the wraths are gone, so let's go back to strip mining here. And we can check if there's any components that we already see nearby. We could also go ahead and send off Lilith to trade. We don't have a lot to trade, but... 
Doesn't matter how much we have. Oh, right. She's incapable of social, right? I don't want to send the high mate off. Minimap is a mod, yep. Minimap is a mod. Look how low we are in food. Man, oh man. We've got some mushrooms at 80. Any animals down here aside from Boomalope? Man. Okay, I hate to do this, but I am going to put these to be mined out. Cannibalism? Hopefully not. Yeah, that would start breaking down the colony really quick. We'd have like minus 20s on everyone. Can a high mate do anything other than be a companion? Well, I mean, they can they can work and stuff depending on... Yeah. It's like they're, they're always good at social, or at least they have a bonus at social, I should say. So you're going to mostly find high mates as being like... Social, obviously, medical, research, cooking, that kind of thing. And basically just happy all the friggin' time. Just inherently sanguine, so. Uh, there's an Ibex we could have killed. Do that. Moral guide, proselytizer. Proselytizer, moral guide, high mate will convert everyone. Yeah. We got her after our moral guide, so it is tempting though to make them the moral guide. I, I might do that still. Yeah, they have a bonus to social just from their genes, right? Uh, great social, so just baseline, they have a plus eight social of whatever they would have had. Bonus stream today. I will be doing a bonus stream tonight. Yep. Uh, I think they hold the hyperweave in, yeah. Let's go get some shooting experience here. Some meat. Well, bonus, I'll be doing a bonus stream tonight. Uh, exclamation event, we'll say a little bit more. Someone's already ha hauling it. Yeah, I'll be doing pretty much two... Oh, compact machinery. Nice. Two streams a day for all of November. Have to watch me all night? Well, I hope so. I'll be... No, the bonus streams won't be RimWorld, though. Uh, some of them might be me making RimWorld guides and doing research RimWorld guides and, like, testing stuff, but it won't be, like, a playthrough if I do it. All November. Yeah, I'm going to be doing about 200 hours in November. Nuts. But yeah, I, I have thought about making some uh some guides while on stream. Two birds, one stone kind of thing, you know. Alright, now that we got the electric stove, we'll go ahead and set this up. Um let's make it out of limestone. Just one, just one. One hundred twenty-five beer. Probably safe going and trading a little bit of that off. Raw fungus. Okay. There we go. Welcome back. It's gonna come. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly po appreciated. Po Tata, that's what I'm going with this time. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Thank you. Two months already. Already our anniversary. It's a break point in the enemy raid pathing that a route becomes so long they start smacking walls instead. No. You can literally have a tunnel that is so long that raiders will starve to death and try to leave the map. And they still won't attack walls as long as they have a pathable target. Now they'll attack doors in that if, when they start to break down and leave the map, but it's a little bit different. I'm drinking twice a day. <laughs> and I'm really hoping we can get some of these. I might just harvest a little of them early, but growth vats is done. Growth vats done. Hmm. Dwarf run, anything great happened so far? Uh, not anything too crazy, actually. We've had, um, we had an early infestation, which was kind of Kind of cool dealing early infestation without having like 
We only had one shotgun at the time, you know? Bonus stream will be at about... Uh, at about two and a half hours from right now. Starvation. Yeah, there's a starvation kill box. It's just a very long maze. Yeah. Ugh. These are so close. As soon as these start coming in, we're good, so... I'm just going to do it. To open double doors make the AI wonky? No. Are you sure they have a pathable colonist target or a zonable animal target the entire time? And they had one when the raid spawned? Oh, crap. Got something up. Do forever. On the floor. That, that's one of the big important things. Like, if the unless the raid is a prepare raid, you need to have the pathing to a targetable colonist or zonable animal when the raid spawns in. We will call you Death Gunks, not OG Gamers. That's right. SSJ4 Sephiroth 42069 <laughs> going to be a bit late so we'll say uh since people are asking about it if you if you're interested well even if you're not uh if you want to help out with the bonus streams i'm having to do i have to do them kind of uh to get the hours in with my contract this month for twitch but if you'd like to help out if you leave the stream lurking it will help and you might be saying how does that help well the thing is these extra streams are actually going to tank my ccv which is concurrent viewer and twitch and other places use that as a metric to pay me so Nord, who I'm sponsored by, used that as a measure to pay me. Even the Twitch bounties. Um, there, there's quite a bit of things that pay me based on CCV. And so in the evening streams, I usually, uh, you know, have a couple hundred people. And that averages it down pretty severely from the RimWorld numbers. So if you would like to help out, if you leave the stream lurking when you go today, uh, so that you can have the channel running in the evening, it helps out. Of course, you know, don't worry about it if it's an inconvenience in any way to you or if you just don't want to do it or you're opposed to it in principle or whatever the reason no hard feelings or anything like that just putting the information out there since uh, it was mentioned starvation all right all right we're getting it or how much should they pay you well not necessarily like i could technically just play rim world 12 hours a day and that wouldn't hurt my ccv right but i would burn myself out in no time can I explain for a minute the lurking thing? So lurking just means that the stream is running in some capacity. And they even changed it that it can be it can be muted. So as long as you have the video playing, um it you should it should count. So lurking can be literally playing your own game while the stream is going on a side monitor or whatever. It can be just full screen sitting back and watching and not participating in chat. There's lots of different kinds of lurking, but basically as long as the stream is running. They fixed the mute thing, apparently. So we don't have to worry about telling people that anymore, at least. Okay. Jeremy is selling granny. Yeah, it was a recent fix, apparently. Yeah, it was a Twitch blog thing where they fixed, they talked about fixing it. We're just li yeah, just listening. Just having it running. All right, Jeremy, what does granny have to say about the streamathon stream for November? Granny says... Talking about Jessica's underwear. Just what I like to talk about. Love mushrooms. You also like mushrooms. <laughs> Tab muted. Yeah, it does help out. It does. All right. Cassandra, are you going to hit us again? Soon, soon. Soon. Good voice. Why is underwear flat? I don't know. Is there any reason I don't use shells? There's a shelf right there. There's there's no reason for me to use shells at the moment. The reason why is because it doesn't do anything for me right now. It would add more wealth and raid points without doing anything else other than making it so that people don't ask. <laughs> Not that it gets you. It's, it's asked a lot, though. Don't worry, there will be more shells. 
cat on keyboard. It's all good. It removes negative beauty. That's not going to do anything for this room. It's not going to increase. The next break point is at 120. We're not going to get to 120 impressiveness just by putting these things on shelves. It, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter right now. It doesn't matter right now. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I know people are always coming in, so I'm I'm not I'm not upset with you asking about shells or anything like that. But people are always trickling. But the reason why is right now it's not it wouldn't really do anything for us. All right, I need to get this growth vat stuff up and going. So we need to get another one of those ovums before we can't get them any longer. No medical beds. Here's one. Wait, who did I set that on? All right. Soul Sapper. Get that out of there. All right, let's do the dirty to it, apparently. All right, Claw. Are you going to do that right in the bed next to Soul Sapper? Ugh. All right, it's done. <laughs> All right, growth vat. Does anybody care if there's just a growth vat in the corner? I don't have the mushrooms in this growth vat right now. It could be worse. It's true. It's true. Most challenging part of this run will be probably having to rely on heavy weapons only, especially against uh, some late game breacher raids. Yeah. And also some of the new boss mech raids with heavy weapons only might be a little, uh, a little difficult, but we shall see. All right, let's do some more strip mining here. Okay. Party. <laughs> what are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? See if we hit anything there. Just when you think Rimworld couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Insert it into the growth vet. Soul Sapper is confused. I'd be confused too, Soul Sapper. Especially because I don't I don't have any for you to take, but what Soul Sapper's like, what did I just see? Right? Did he, just, he just No, he couldn't have. Right next to my bed? No. He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that. Trust me. Are you better in this playthrough? Yeah, probably, even though I don't want to. Probably, even though I don't want to. Someone insert this little... Oh, I see one. All right. Uh, compact machinery, yay! All right, mushrooms are coming in. Perfect. Good timing. Yeah, yeah, I think so, Evident. Based on uh, Twitch's uh, blog post thing that they did. Wow, look at all this. Doors like saving. Apparently they can be, yeah. Apparently they can be. Got, man, how much nutrition does this thing take? I didn't look at it when we were doing it in uh in the last run. Like we had a growth vet. I never really looked at how much it actually takes. Oh my lord. Yeah, I believe so, Tabhara. Yeah, I don't think that impacts it. Plan to transition to bedrooms. Some wealth break point. Probably, yeah. Probably around 81,000 wealth, yeah. 81,000 wealth, we're going to end up having uh, higher expectations. There we go. Man, that's a lot. 
That is a lot. There it is. There's a little dwarven bean in there. Nice. Nice. So we'll leave it in there until it gets to three. So. Man, that bean is hungry. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, the hunger modifier is probably impacted too. Yeah. Hunger, the hungry little bean. All right. All right. Okay, I'm gonna make another chain shotgun. Then it'll be big enough to eat. No, no, no. It's gonna be your first baby dwarf. Baby dwarf. It's a baby dwarf. Box quarter pounders. We have a baby already. We're gonna have one in 8.5 days. 8.5 days. Growth vat dwarf. Alright. Uh let's go ahead and give that to Lilith. Visitor with a relation. She can't be related to us. You're not a dwarf. Don't lie to me. On to you. On to you. Uh, man, I wanted to have more colonists, but it's going to take a long time to get more colonists this playthrough. So I got to be a little bit careful with what we do. So. Hmm. Who else can we extract from? Let's see. Theirs is extracted. Can't do hers because they are siblings. Uh, Sloth. We can do this to Sloth. Let's let Sloth finish on some of the planting. Ah, we should probably let them catch them on food first. Will the mother throw the baby on the floor again? Okay. All right. Maybe I will just go ahead and do a few bedrooms and really freak people out. Can't wait. Can't wait for people to come in and say, did they nerf? The barracks? No, no, they didn't. I should probably work on getting more defensive setup first, honestly. Okay. Content warning bedrooms. Huh? Right, so they nerfed barracks. What? All right, that'll help a little bit on retreat if we need to retreat those ways. So now we have four places Welcome for chain back. shotgun, Your steadfast two loyalty melee blockers, two repairs. It's actually more than the how number of people that we have right now. So also need to. Hmm. I'm actually really curious what the next raid, how big it's going to be, and then and we're about to get it to. Wow, we're at 35,000 wealth. Ouch. How long can you leave them in the growth vat? Um, so this just came out, but I believe you can put children in there if you want all the way up to adulthood. So we're going to leave them in there just until they're three, but I believe you can do so all the way to adulthood. Yeah, we need to uh, wait on this until... Uh... Wait, can we use Lilith? Oh, you little 35. Do ad blockers affect my revenue? They do, but it's it's minor. Ad revenue on Twitch is like something like a percent of my income. Do you have to remove them from the growth vats? I don't know. I mean, I guess we're going to find out real soon. Do you have to keep checking? I'm not sure. I think you'll get the notification. It uses a lot of food. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I already inspected them. Yeah, I did it. Let's see, we got the growth. I mean, the dwarf genes. 
dwarf jeans. There they are. Quest available. The boom rats. 26 boom rats. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise that the could sun. be... That might end up being a... Um, I like mule character. We actually need a mule character again, but... Uh, Death Gun 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Death Gun 2. Very much appreciated. Drowns. Thank you for the five months. Thank you, Drowns. Zoe, what are you doing? Zoe, why? Zoe's in here. So? Children can be mules? <laughs> children can haul? Can't haul as much to be to be fair, but but you know they can they can hire they can haul some cloth and mushrooms. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So once the loth goes through here and uh, finishes up these mushrooms, we have some in stock. We're going to extract the ovum again. I dwapped the yayo, sir. I've profaned. No, no more profaning peace rituals. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, the first time I saw a child in Rimworld, our first, our, uh, no, our next, our first biotech run, it's up on YouTube. We got a quest from a three-year-old child, and he said that he profaned a peace ritual between two armies. <laughs> so it's like, I'm sorry. Sawi. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. <laughs> it's a yeah. I don't know if I pronounced that right or not, but thank you for the subscription. I do appreciate it. Can children take children can take drugs when they turn 13. They're not allowed to take it a minute sooner, but on their 13th birthday, they can take all the drugs. That child grew up to be experiment. He grew up to be a god. Thank you again, Death Gun. Let's go to analog. All right, Dwarven Brethren. What are we going to work on next while we're doing this research? Well, first off, like I said, on Sloth, we're going to go ahead and extract the ovum. Oh, man, it's so weird with, uh, with Claw doing this, you know? So, Claw takes the ovum... He drops it on the floor next to the bed, and then he goes over there and fertilizes it. And hearts appear. And then he went and had a beer afterwards. What is going on? These friggin' dwarves. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, let's divide the growth vats up so that if we have, like, an infestation, one gets destroyed. Not all the little dwarven beans get destroyed. Look away, look away! <laughs> Why does the fungus room have different colors? It's because of the floor change. So, I think so anyway. Yeah, it's where it switches from limestone flooring to sandstone flooring. And so the green overlay color on top of the different stone flooring just makes it look different. So, Confucius, thank you for the four months. Thank you, Confucius. What would Confucius say in a moment like this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Not how it's done normally, no. Uh, gen generally not. Generally not. Growth fat dwarfs. Growth fat dwarfs. I thought my dwarves are going to be procreating more on their own without growth vats. You know, I chose like high libido, very fertile. I made my dwarves very fertile, but they're just like, nah. Let's just do it into a petri dish and shove them in a tube for three years instead. They're all related. They're not all related. Only two of them are related. It's two of five. Uh, all right. So let's work on getting to deep drilling. Might as well get that done. Man who drops watch and toilet is bound to have crappy time. All dorms are brothers. <laughs> You keep hearing doors instead of dwarves. 
All right, there's our second Dwarven bean. That bean's already gotten much bigger. Five and a half days on that, that bean. Nice. These out of here. I guess we can go ahead and mine these out for our future endeavors. Might as well. We got some idle people. We don't have enough advanced research benches anyway, so... Uh, in the social tab for couples yes yes i did it's at 400 percent. yes but she's like 44 so four 400 percent of three is only a 12 percent. so all the future doors will be siblings all right all right they're gonna prepare we're up to 19 raiders ouch okay all right this is what i was wanting to see is about where we are on the on the raid points for cassandra so that answers that will they make kids out double beds they have a double bed and i forced two people that aren't in a relationship with free and open love and the ideology precept into a into a double bed so They will die without beer. Yes, they will. You will make babies. Oh, what a terrible time. Why do you keep getting it, Soul Saber? What's going on here? You're not sickly. That's a really bad time. Really bad time to get the flu there, Soul Sapper. Oh, it wasn't them that got last time, my bad. So we'll tend to them. Bro, a tribute collector. Well, well. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Preach Health on them. Oh. Combat's happening. All right. Impits can only breathe fire once every five days or something like that. So, yeah, get all that fire out. Is there ever a good time for the flu? No. <laughs> How do you avoid prison breaks? If you mean the exploit, you just don't have a prison bed or a prison sleeping spot in the room with a prisoner, and they won't have a prison break event. That is a royal tribute collector versus some impages. Uh, Fury, thank you for the four months. Thank you, Fury. Or you can just chop off their legs. That's also true, yeah. Guys, I wanted to fight this, actually. <laughs> You're back and bruised. Welcome back, Miss Bad Tech. And the plague. What is going on? Cassandra. What a real piece of work. What's the... Whoops, they're already on it. It's almost like you're sickly, but you're not... Weird. Soul Sapper. Come on, just stop getting sick. Huh. Everyone's dead. Cool. Hmm. Alright. Let's go see what's down there if we want to go that far to scavenge or not. There is a chain shotgun down there. Um, but Cassandra's off cooldown right now, so I gotta be a little bit careful. So she can attack again immediately. I do not want the plasma sword to use, but we could sell it. All right, uh, Lilith, run down here and grab that plasma sword. Yeah, I don't want to use it though. Plasma sword breaks uh, collision and will allow them to walk over the top of us. What's our ideology? Exclamation memes. If you type that in the chat, it'll show you. I attack YouTube run. How long has this calling been alive for? I just started this one today. Let's go and use your name. Ignis, welcome in. 
Yeah, I could have unequipped the current and had them equip this one and bring the other one back. I've done that before. I, I just forgot to do it. Then we could have done one trip instead of two. Sad times. Did I do a tribal star? I did a tribal, yeah. To use seven? No. Five. Yeah, I didn't use seven. <laughs> that would have been nice though. It breaks collision from setting them on fire, yeah. To be to be completely clear, when you set them on fire, then we no longer has collision. So you could use it against a mech, I guess, if you wanted. Without any issue. Of course, not like it's good against mechs or anything, so. But we can take that and sell it. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's tier 3 gift sub. Yeah. When he did that, I was like, what are you doing? It's going to Ozzy. Welcome in. Let's see if uh, Cassandra attacks us again. Actually, I am supposed to go so I can do the um, do the bonus stream. So it is set for females to be able to have beards, but unfortunately, we didn't realize that bushy beards overwrites unisex beards for some reason. So unfortunately, because we have the bushy beards, females don't get the ability. All right, guys, I hate to run very suddenly, but I am doing two streams a day, so I will be back on. You can't make flame bows right now. You have to get them from trade or from an enemy drop. They are pretty common from traders and, and drops, though. Uh, let me save this and quit before anything else happens. And I will see you guys in a couple hours. Uh, I'm going to eat and rest a little bit so I can feel, feel better for the second stream of the day. Uh, I will have to see what Cassandra's second raid on this cooldown is when I get back, so... Uh, I'll be in the recording for the YouTubes, and I'll tell you guys about this bonus stream business, and then when you can see this again, too. Bye, Phasic stream schedule. That's right.